Hello and welcome to Boulder, Colorado for this year's 2024 Colorado Youth Football Invitational. I'm Jeff Gersh with Coach GTV. Supremely excited to be your host for today's events, but it wouldn't be the same without my friend and Colorado's favorite amigo, Mark Jackson, joining us for his second season. Mark, how excited are you to be back? I'm incredibly excited, Jeff. Love working with you, first of all, but Cassie, Chris, uh, Zarek, Mandy, uh, they've put together an incredible, incredible opportunity for the kids in the state of Colorado. Last year was the inaugural season. I was able to be a part of that, and it was amazing. This year, to start off, we haven't even started playing yet, but just with all the events that happened today, it's been absolutely amazing. It's a very exclusive event. And, and we've got the combine going on behind us. We've got the kids practicing down at the lower fields. Um, all the coaches have been on site. The nice thing, too, this facility is really – it's really been nice for the families, the parents, the, all the kids, the brothers and sisters. It's turning out to be a real family affair. But let's talk about the athletes. What yeah. kind of athletes are we expecting to oh, see today? Just the best of the best. The creme de la creme de Colorado will be here. Over 800 applicants, a little under 300 that will be participating. So you do the numbers. But the greatest part about this, Jeff, is the, the numbers are represented by the best of best across the state of Colorado. From Grand Junction all the way the western slope, all the way over to the east. You can go Strasburg, Fort Lupton. I know I talked to some of those coaches there. Uh, north and south, we got them all right here for you. And we got some of the best coaches in the state. Rounding out our coaches was Jay Madden. He's one of the legendary coaches from his Pomona and Legacy days. Yes. Um, we were happy to have him here. We've got the sports reels guys are over there. They're going to be taking all the footage and giving you all the snaps. Of course, Coach GTV's got... Instant replay, coaches' play, challenges, <laughs> sideline interviews. We're going to be right there interviewing the coaches and players as the greatest plays happen. And it's all about that ring. This year, the rings, they say, see you for you because it's for the kids. We're here in Boulder, Colorado. All that and more coming up with kickoff on Coach GTV, live on YouTube at CYFI All-Stars.
Hello and welcome in to the Colorado Youth Football Invitational 2024. It's our second run at it. It's our fifth game of the day. And we went ahead and we saved the best for last. Coach G, Mark Jackson, the eighth graders. We're bringing you the best. We're finishing strong and we're giving it to you on Coach G TV tonight. Mark, how's it been for you so far it's today? It's been an awesome night, man. Sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. I was here to watch the fourth and fifth graders. It's been great calling these games. It's been great seeing the families. Most importantly, it's turning into a family affair out here, and I absolutely love it. You know, I got to run the sideline camera last game, and boy, is that fun. You're running all over. You're getting right up in there. We're giving you shots that no one else can give you. And then, of course, when a big play happens, we're right there with the kid and the belt getting the interview. Sideline interviews it's are really awesome. It's really something. It's awesome. really been something. We've had coaches challenges, four of them today. Um, yeah, three of them have awesome. actually been overturned, Seeing the too, replays. which means that those replays are working and it must be doing something right. We even got the new camera in the back. We're doing all sorts of awesome I don't get stuff. that. The bird dog. This scares me. Yeah, the bird dog's in the I back. I don't like anybody looking behind Check me. Check this. We got all the stats right here. This is all new from last year. And just when you thought we couldn't get any better than last year, look at us now. It's getting, it's getting more and more gooder. More and more gooder. <laughs> you are funnier. You are funner than funnier. <laughs> Um, it's game time. Eighth grade boys, here we oh go. Oh, my gosh. It's uh, Coach Knobloch from the Heritage Eagles going against Coach Rankin. It says Devlin Jaguars here, but uh, most of you guys already know Coach has taken the job at Green Mountain High School. Oh, his, really? His alma mater. That is so, so awesome. Yep, and he's done an amazing job, and hopefully someone uh, from his staff and stay along and keep it going what they've been doing there so incredible work um and then of course coach Knobloch from the heritage eagles what's cool about him is he don't want no shine he wants him he wants everyone else on his coaching staff to get the shine I love and that's it. why his picture you'll see it later is uh him in the squad first play of the game Ooh. looks like a trick play double it pass is. that's bentley enru throws from number one 99's wide open he's on the loose Oh, unbelievable my start to the game. That That's Riley play. Gearhart. Riley Gearhart <laughs> gets the pass from Jesse Vigil Jr., who got the pass from Bentley Unruh. And I told you this game was going to be crazy, Mark the Jackson. The fireworks have started already. The 4th of July is coming up today, like right now. It's snowing outside, from my understanding. It was like 70 degrees yesterday. And it's snowing outside, and it's snowing in here. Football. You know, in Colorado, they say, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. Just but wait. at the Youth Football Invitational, if you don't like a 0-0 score, just wait one Here's play. Here's the replay. Oh, just, we missed it. Oh, we saw it, man. It was so cool. <laughs> Incredible. Once you see that sideways pass, you always kind of in here the back is. of your mind think to yourself, no way. I, no I've way they're going to throw that I've never seen that, that from the backside, man. I loved how it was a backside post. I thought that was brilliant because wow. of the overplay. And an amazing throw there by Jesse Vilho. Obviously a quarterback. Um, Right in, in his playing days, but lined up as wide receiver there. So incredible start to this game. And here comes number Ooh, 30. Is it good? Ball is up. Ball. It, I think that ball, if I'm not mistaken, was tipped. We're making off history the line. here. We're making and, history. But still, Zane Went kicked it so hard. Zane Went did that, hit that finger and went in. If I'm not mistaken, I think it might have hit a finger. I think Zane might have played last year too. Did Zane play last year? I'm not sure if this is the same Zane or not. But that is our what third. Three of five. That's our fourth now fourth, field goal. Fourth two point extra point. <laughs> extra point, not field sense. goal. Good no, call. They're, and they're two pointers. Two pointers, yeah. yeah. So there is a reason why I you want to go for it. And the reason is uh, you get two points for a kick. You get one point for the uh, for the try, I guess right. is what we would call it. And, of course, we got our guy Robert here from game day kick, and we interviewed him in the middle of the last game. Yes. And, boy, Scott. oh, boy, yeah, this is, a, this is not just an offense and defense football celebration. It's a kicking celebration as well. However, no kickoffs, as you may have just noticed, and there's no punts no and no field punts. goals. So fourth down becomes an interesting set of circumstances, and a lot of coaches have been going for it when they're on their side of the field. Let's see what the white team has uh, to answer back with. White team's got Ricky Weeks at quarterback. He's a sweet player. Remember him from last year. Handoff goes to the left side. Ooh, that's Rafe Cox, and he's going nowhere, and he's getting there fast. Loss of two on the play. Nice gang tackling there, 29 mixing it up for the blue squad. A, a bunch of guys getting in there. Brandon Anchinato, nice little uh, good penetration burst. He's yeah. a big boy. 
And here we are. A couple plays into the game. We're already going down to Jazzy on the side. We're here with Riley who, from Team Blue who just got the first touchdown of the game. And on the first play, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good about this game so far. Awesome. Are you having fun? Yeah. Had a lot of fun so far. Awesome. Thank you. Back to you. Ray, sounds like he's having a, a, a lot of oxygen he's a short on. Yeah, Probably has yeah. something to do with the 80 yards he ran. And <laughs> even in the middle of the interview, their coach is still trying to dap him up. Riley Gearhart, that was an awesome play. Um, the cool thing about that play is that it took the O-line, a quarterback to make a pass, a wide receiver to make a pass. It took everyone. White team tries their own haberdashery uh, to no avail. Pass up. Uh, Looks like a receiver pass or running back pass goes out of bounds. Yeah, it was brings a, up a third and 14. For it was a white. nice deep ball. Um, it just was a little off target. And so, yeah, after two plays, the white team has gone backwards four yards. Third and 14. Drops back, rolls out to his right side. He's looking downfield. Ball's been Ooh. tipped. Ball was oh, almost no. picked. A couple from each squad Man, he there. got saved on that one. Let me tell you, that's... We saw that in the last game, in the seventh grade game of, you know, guys just throwing, quarterbacks throwing the ball when they shouldn't have. And that was one quarterback trying to make a play. There was no one there. Three defenders, one receiver. Looks like the white team's going to punt the ball away. Yep, so punt just means that you're giving up possession. You're not doing a down on fourth down and then move the ball about 40 yards downfield. Um, I think it's the shorter for the fourth graders, the punt. Yeah, you know, it's only about 25, exactly. but I think they move it about 40 yards here. Um, and, you know, heck of a start to the game for this blue team. They get the trick play to start the game, six points. They get the two-pointer, right? That's huge. Eight's way better than six. Yeah. And then three plays on defense, and they get the ball back. <laughs> Funny, Brindley Unruh's final season. I was talking to uh, Nick about this, the fact that this has become a family affair. This is just the second running of the Colorado Youth Football Invitational. And I just start seeing the future. I'm a prognosticator. I'm just that kind of guy. I like to see things in the future. And... I can see kids coming from the fourth grade through the eighth grade here and then going on into college and even playing in the pros saying that, hey, I got my start at the Colorado Youth Football Invitational. It really is a special place for, uh, for special athletes and special men coaching these athletes. Unruh finds a receiver there. Can't quite make the catch. That was 15, Dante Kawahi. Uh, we, we remember him, Kawhi. I oh, I was saying Kawahi last, last <laughs> game, but it's Kawhi. And you know what? He had such a great game last night. I'm keeping my eye on 15. Sorry, not last night, last year. Like last year. <laughs> yeah, that seems like yesterday, huh? It really Bentley does. Aru. Man, you know something I'm seeing also is everybody's kind of catch up. I remember Bentley was, like, taller than everybody else. Now everything's kind of evening out a little bit. Yeah, the eighth graders, man, they are quite a specimen. Um, we, we, Becker and I called the fourth and fifth grade games, and these guys are almost twice the size. Yeah. Unruh makes a sweet pass out to the side. He's got a wide open receiver. Oh, wow. loose. Oh, man, he's up the middle. He's around to the right side. I don't know if anyone's going to catch him. Ten-yard line, five. And he's in. He's in for a touchdown. touchdown. Blue team. I cannot find him. Who's number five? Devon Daniels. Oh, my God. Whoa, Devon Daniels making it happen with the yak. Yards what? after catch. Oh, my God. Excellent break across the field. I can't wait to see the replay of this. Wow. Kind of Mark Jackson-esque play. Devon that he Daniels, he, he's an Aurora there kid. He he's playing for the Colorado Spillionaires. Look at that. And look oh, at wow. this, dude. That plant on the 50-yard line was almost as good as the one on the 45. Dude, the Colorado Spillionaires, we donate to uh, each and every year our Denver Bronco Alumni Association. A spilly, so it's a really spilly. really cool to support those guys. Yeah, and now man. I know it's going to a good cause. Yeah, I mean... All these programs. One of the cool things is this year we do have the team names. We do have the locations of where these kids live. We're trying to give you all the details we can. And we got to do it for like 270 kids. So forgive us if Amazing. we get a name wrong. We still love you guys. Okay, here's Zane again. Zane's taking his kick. He's feeling good. Oh, uh, yeah, he's getting better. Oh, uh, he's feeling good. Yeah, he's two for two. That's Zane Went. Two for. Zane Went. And that ball went right through the uprights. Right. Come on, Zane. Wow, I don't know, man. Action we had a Jackson. couple. We had a couple blowouts the last two games. The blue team is off to an incredibly fast start. Let's see how the white team responds to this. Let's see if they have a response for this. Yeah, we're looking at the stats here. There's one throw to Riley Gearhart for 70 yards, and there's one <laughs> throw to Devon Daniels for 56 yards. And wow, goes ahead and totals up all their yards pretty much. <laughs> white team, on the other hand, they had that three two and out. Two receptions, two touchdowns. What? 
like, and I think, does Bentley Unruh, does he get one touchdown for that last one? Does he get a half touchdown, like a He gets assist? an assist, like Jokic. Yeah, does he, or does he get, like, a half tackle? He gets the triple-double. Because, you know, some of these guys will get, like, a half tackle, and I think that's cool. <laughs> she, she should, uh, my point is 14 should have one and a half touchdowns he gets right the now. belt. All right, white team's got the ball. Ooh, nice. Fake draw up the middle. Nice RPO. Oh, man, great little nice footwork little there. Move. Nice action. That's Ricky Weeks. He's letting people know that he's not giving in. And he don't care. 16-0. That's, that's a tough little hurdle to jump. But Absolutely. if anyone can jump it, it's a group of all-stars, right? So um, we'll see how it goes. Blue team, too, now they're feeling it, though. They got the mighty momentum. The pendulum is definitely on this sideline closest to us. Um, it, it, it's sometimes hard to get the momentum back, but it's, oh, yeah, absolutely. it's all about moving the chains, if you ask me. These kids are so much faster. Each, each grade, uh, as I've been doing these games, you see this pickup in speed. It's amazing. Well, speaking of a pickup in speed, I think I see something in the backfield there by the name of Marcelo Jaramillo. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, almost a great pass catch. Pass goes out wide there, fake the run. A little wide pass. That was Colt Jones looking for the receiver there, number 11. Nice big body on Colt Jones there. Kind of the opposite of uh, a small speedster like Jaramillo. But if you recall from last year's seventh grade oh, game, yeah, he Jaramillo took the first ball to the house. And he hasn't, I'm not sure if he's touched it yet. So if, uh, if I'm coaching that white squad over there, which I'm not, you but if I... <laughs> If I, I heard you said that earlier. If so maybe I, were, I can get the coach next year and, and find out how I heard difficult you saying it is that, to yeah. do that. Yeah, it's not easy. It's well, definitely not easy. But we do have the best of the best in Colorado here coaching. These guys are not just uh, here to spend a little time, but they're, they're here to, to, to give wisdom <laughs> to these kids, and they're, they're picking it up pretty quick. There he goes. to Jaramillo. He knows what to do. Oh. Don't That's let him get started. <laughs> good hit, good wrap. That's 23 that on the blue two? team. Yeah, he's a nice player there. Anytime you can get a hit and a wrap on Jaramillo, Sawyer you're doing Petit. something right. Yep, Sawyer Petit. Nice little action there. Brings up a fourth and one. They're going to go for it. I would. You can't yeah, pick up one yard. You got to take that thing right down the middle. If it was 0-0 right now, it might not be four down territory. But situationally speaking, Mark, I think you hey, got to go for it. Why not? Yeah, big hogs up front, man. I just now the question is, if you don't get it, sneak it, then they're in your. Ooh. Ooh, shoot. Maybe I would. Well, you never know. Here we go. Let's take a look and see what Ricky Weeks has up his sleeve. Quarterback ah, sneak, nice. but he ran it right to 29, who's wow. the biggest guy on the field. Yeah, I wouldn't have ran that way. Let's see how they mark it. That's Brandon Anchando. They're gonna call that a. a turnover and downs. Brandon Anchando makes a yeah, huge stop. Yeah, not to there. him. Yeah, to anybody, but. I saw him, when you see him line up, I don't know if they're going to show the replay, but yeah, well, sure. before, when you see him line up, I'm, I'm, I'm knifing to the left. The guy already jumped. He was off balance. And your oh. biggest guy, the biggest guy they had on the line I was to a, the left. I think Achando came from, like, the left end. He came. He tucked under. I from thought he was on the left, nose. On yeah. the offensive right. We always talk from right, the offside. Yeah. yeah, good call there. Um, I feel like he, yeah, he wasn't on the nose. At, initially, I thought he was on the nose. Your biggest guy in the offensive there. line was the, the, the left guard for the offense. You got to love the way Achando got uh, low, too. He's got nice Absolutely. leverage. And when you got that weight and that strength behind you, easy to move, guys. All right, new quarterback in here for the blue team. Still worth it, I believe. That's Andrew Nice. Nice throws it sideways. Catch. Gain. First down. Inside the 30. Holds on to the ball. That's 44, Evan Ingles. I nice wonder if Andrew Nice is any kin to Cullen Nice. Here, you know what? I know how I find that out. Cullen Nice played in, I think, the sixth grade game. The blue. That's the eighth grade roster you're looking at there, Coach. I know. What are you wondering? Oh, what town he's from? If he's, nice? Yeah, yeah, Nice. Oh. I'm looking. If he's Grand Junction, that means that's his brother. Well, if only we had that kind of data nearby. It turns out he is from Grand Junction, plays for the Redlands Chargers. Boom. Did I call it? And he's 6'2", 170. And he's probably got a little brother named Cullen that played quarterback. Man, Mark, you're good today. Come on, man. You can't sneak that past me. Woo. Oh, nice. Jet snap. sweep. That's Kawhi. <laughs> Kawhi's got it. He's getting loose. He's our, one of our kids. favorite wide receivers. But in that play, he was a running back, and that was a nice gain. Just short of the first down. I think we'll give him nine yards on that gain. This is exactly what blue team was hoping to do and what white team was Hoping would not happen tonight. Yeah. These guys are quick. You got to get on them fast, man. Let me tell you, there's no penetration. 
that defensive line is controlling the line of scrimmage, and they're not doing a very good job of that right now. Well, and it may have something to do with the blue team's offensive line because those fellas are uh, they're, they're healthy and they're hungry. Okay, high snap taken. Running back right up the right side ah. through the crease there inside the 10-yard line. Running man. over people, man. Jeez, that's Anthony Miller. It's a new guy every play for these guys. Jeez. A lot of these guys will have a, a, a nominated position, Mark. This is the position they were nominated for. Gotcha. And then these are all the ones they play. They can only take so many quarterbacks. They can only take play so many. Way. Yeah, two yeah. ways. But yeah, then exactly. One, so you're nominated for a position, but then, you know, once you get out to game day, you're allowed to play some different stuff. So. Very good. Yeah. This is wild. What a day it's been. What a day. And you know what? This is the last game of the day, and I'm sad about it almost. <laughs> yeah. High snap at the handoff. Goes with the spread draw, 42 off the left side. Very good. Man, nice little Kobe up Cooper Chizzy. Fisher. Kobe that Chizzy well. right there, yeah. I mean, every they got horses. They got stallions in the backfield. Each one of these guys is a new name, and each one of these new names is a big dude. Like, I look out there, and I'm like, dang. That's not the same guy you just gave it to, and he's twice his size. All right, we're at second and six. Six minutes, 20 seconds to go. 16 nothing blue team. Another spread draw. Oh, it looks like he's in the end zone. And I think he's down. He's over. Is he in? Let's wait for the signal. I'm no, showing they're gonna just mark him short. short. Oh, no. Kobe Chazee's like, come on. What are we doing around here? Third and one, huge third and one. Um, like we talked about the D-line, this is going to be their chance to step up, make a play. I have noticed, too, that a lot of high snaps kind of. Maybe it's because the quarterback's a, he's a tall drink of water, that Andrew Neese, right? So. Yeah. The, the old lineman thinks maybe I gotta shoot it a little higher to get sneak. this thing in here. Nice comes in under center. Oh, they got a legal Looks procedure like a legal probably. formation. Yeah. Hey, they're gonna back it up five yards. That could change things significantly. Absolutely. Definitely in your play selection. 6 2, 170. Yep, yeah, that's Nice. That's right. He is a third big Third and fella. one becomes third and six now. I don't think there's one guy working on Coach GTV that's over six feet one. How tall is Kyle? Kyle, how tall are you when you listen Dang. to this? Mark, Drop it in the chat room. You're good today, Mark. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet, though, to be in eighth grade and be 6'2", instead of, like, uh, yeah. never been it once instead in my of life? Instead 5'6", like yeah. I was. How about the In eighth zero? grade, I was probably about 5' foot tall, 5'2". I'll never remember being 6'2". <laughs> I'll never be there. Uh, um, okay, what do we got here? A little timeout, a little trying to figure out what they want to do on 4th and 6th. 4th and 6th now is a big decision. Now, you'd, you'd be saying to yourself, kick the field goal, right? There are no mm. field goals here today. So, no. But um, Here's your if, if they were going to kick it, it'd be Zane Wynn. Let's take a team. look at these squad here. Hey, Ryder Hofschneider, sadly, we had to scratch him. He had an injury a little little bit ago, a couple weeks ago. But, man, last year, if you remember, the Hoff was hard to control. O.J. Jones, man, he's a sweet player. Um, Bentley Unruh, we mentioned, his one-and-a-half touchdowns already. Here's the white team. And here's the white team. <laughs> Tavish Burt. Super sweet player, Ricky Weeks. We've talked about Rafe Cox has the hair coming out the back. <laughs> easy to, easy to not miss. And Marcelo Jaramillo. Yes, Jaramillo. That's a great squad right there. Both of those teams are full of all stars. There's no shame in not making it into this game because of how much talent there is. Absolutely, over 800 applicants. Okay, Nice is Just back. Under 300 here. Oh, what did we just snap. talk about? High snaps to the tall kid. Crazy. On fourth down, do you fall on it? Yeah, I think you still do because if they pick it up and advance it. We do have a flag on the field, though. I guess we get to wait to see what that is. I think you can go ahead and keep those flags in your pocket Holding. there, Mr. Oh, Mr. We're going to decline that one. Oh, they'll yeah, up until now, I was it. talking about that. On every broadcast that I've done and every game that I watch, which is all of the games today, I have to say, not only do we have excellent coaching, we have all-star players on both sides of the ball, but we also have an incredible group of referees. I haven't seen any, like, horrible calls. Oh, no, no, none. Not one. And when I say keep the, you know, flags in your pockets, I'm saying let them play. I'm not saying that was a bad call. Ref. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, more so let's, let's kind of solve it here on the gridiron. Well, that gives them a chance, actually. Right, nice. has got a little flag. space now. Tight spiral into the middle. Ball's tipped. Ball's up. And ball hits the turf. Good defense on the play. Yeah, I like that. It was intended. Number 21, Owen Newell. That was intended for our guy, Chazee. 
But yeah, that's, it's hard to get it out there when Owen Newell's making plays like that. Absolutely. So kind that's of scary. Huge why, why turn do you of take, events. Why do you take that penalty, though? So that they lose the down. The ball was snapped over their head. They lost 14 yards anyway. They didn't take the penalty. They declined it. They declined the penalty. That was fourth down. Why'd they get another fourth down play? They so, had to so on third and one, there was the... Remember, they were third and goal. They were about to knock on the door, and then there was five-yard back. Right. And then the snap fourth. went over the head. That was fourth and six. Uh, according to our score guy, but oh. according to what's happening in real life, uh -huh. we can't... Uh, guys, for those of you watching at home, we just want you to know we've got a... Uh, score clock there. Ball there. Tears, <laughs> score clock guy. Uh, we're not mad Sometimes at him. We're, he's trying his it's best. It's just not correct. You're exactly right. But sometimes I'm, I'm sorry. I would say uh, try and look for the down I marker. I did not That's notice nice. that. Okay. That guy's been on fire today. Hey, big turn of events, though, for the white well, team. They we... needed some happenings. Oh, fumble. And they... And blue, blue team recovers. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. There's a little battle going on down there. Is it going to be blue? Are they no, pointing it? No, it's blue. Oh, Come on. Wow. 29. Of course. That guy's been killing it already. Man, oh, man. Stopping first down attempts. Brandon Anchando. I think you nailed that. That was nice. Close. Anchando. And we've called his name a number of times because of... I'm just going to call him B.A. What a force he is. What up, B.A.? And you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to hear from him on the sidelines. Hopefully we can get it. Sometimes we tried to hear from him. Sideline uh, interview. No, nope. he's hear back from, on the field, dude. He didn't come off the field. Oh, yeah, we tried he's to hear from Zakai. He's playing special teams. He's a kicker. We tried to hear from Zakai Break. Part-time coach. Yeah. He, uh, he was always on the field. <laughs> yeah, you can't get him. Couldn't get him off. Sorry. Yeah, so we'll Maybe see. Maybe next but year. It, geez, just when you get a turnover on downs, one play later, it's kind of just a little disjointed on the snaps. So. Yeah. All right. Let's see who we got We're in switching a quarterback up to now. Jesse V. Hill. Another junior. Yeah. Jesse V. Hill Jr. A little quick screen and, action. And Jesse V. Hill Jr., that was not his first pass of the day. His first pass of the day was when he was lined up as a wide receiver. That was nice. And he does have a touchdown under his belt. He's slaying that thing to the post. Still, I'm, I'm like baffled by that backside post. I love With it. number 99, Wayne Gretzky running on the, to the post. It's probably what you should do. Put a 99 out there, and they're like, well, yeah, well I know one thing that's not happening. Yeah, he ain't yeah. going to go score a 70-yarder. <laughs> and sure enough. <laughs> Look at him spit out wide 70 left. 70 yards later, yeah. Good Lord. Riley. Snap. Oh, good penetration there. That's what you need, man. Great penetration. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be this. It's got to. So if you Segundo give up. Segundo Ortiz. Segundo Ortiz is sweet, man. And if you if you give up a touchdown on the first play, all right, you're already down, right? And then and then they another touchdown has occurred. But the momentum is still kind of on their side because they got the stop the last time. Sure, the fumble was not ideal, but they're one snap, maybe two snaps away here from getting that ball right back. So. Yeah. It's, it starts in those trenches, though. Big play here. Hand off to the right side. Way to protect that's, that edge. That's O.J. Jones. Oh, man, you know who made that play, don't you? You tell me, Mark Jackson. That was Maxis Lovato who made that play. He held that edge, man. I don't know if we'd see the replay, but he turned that play back in, man. If he gets to the sideline, that might be six. O.J. stands for Elijah Wan. Here you go. Elijah Wan Jones. See him hold that line right there? Boom. 4-3 made that play. Good job, son. Hey, well, we got a second here. Let's go down to the sidelines and get our gal Jazzy Martinez with a sideline interview. I'm here with Devon. Got the second touchdown of the game. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Awesome. Are you having fun out there? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. And who's your favorite football player? My favorite football player is Jalen Ramsey. Awesome. Thank you. Back to you. Devon Daniels there dropping the Jalen Ramsey love. Oh, and while oh, it happened, we just see a pass wow. go to the right side. Little catch. Sawyer wow. Petit takes it and does the rest of the work himself. Touchdown, Man. Blue. Speed kills, bro. He got to the outside, and it was over. Man, Jesse Vigil Jr., he's got a passing touchdown. That's his second passing touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. This, first, this is first quarter action, folks. Wow. 22, now 22-0 with an extra point attempt coming up. Well, Mark, I can tell you, looking out that window, that there's a blizzard going on out oh, there. Oh, yeah, I've been but out there. I don't there. know if it's as big of a blizzard as what's mm. going on in here. <laughs> this is a no. force of nature, is what I'm trying to say. There's only three belts left. This is crazy, yeah. Oh, there's no belts on the table. Who took all my belts? Well, they give the belts to the coaches. Well, they're, this, the we have a game left. There was, I thought, three belts to be given away. They may have them in their hands somewhere. Somebody's got them. Yeah, once we get down don't to that worry. fifth game, don't Mark, panic, we we'll, we'll get low on belts. Ooh. That was Look good. That, We're going to count that good. <laughs> Left corner. Yeah, it went. <laughs> Two Looks, rails. It went, it went and did it again. Let's go. 
I don't know how many went jokes I got, but so you're going to hear for all two of or three? Them. He's three for three now. Yeah. Oh, man, we're up in that percentage big three eights. time. That's, a, that's crazy. This is called the Yol Colorado Youth Extra Point Invitational. It's six for eight. Let me see. Let me dab it. Not the biggest guy Zane went. He's no, five foot, 105 soaking wet. He coming Sounds out like of me. Denver, Colorado, and he's banging kicks for the Mile High Thoroughbreds. Let's go. All right, went. Let's go. I love these kids. They're walking slow. I like pass a little quick out screen action. Just, yeah, quick little pass there. Sometimes when, sometimes when things aren't going your way, you just got to do that quick pass. Get it out there. See if Colt Jones can make a play for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, that swarming blue team defense uh, is in full effect. Devon Daniels again. We just interviewed him. He's playing defense now. Stopping plays. First and 10, no gain on the play. The white team has to come up with some solution for this blue defense. The blue defense is swarming them. Can't run it up the middle. Got Enchando up there. All right, Coach Stuck Jackson. You, you said you want to coach next year. See if we can get to the edge. You got a pep talk for these guys? Is it the white team guys? Um, is it going to be like an emotional one, super fiery, or is it going to be like I believe in you guys? Or what do you think? Crack back block right here. Here it comes. You see him tighten up his split. Watch this. Right, it's either a slant or a crack Two receivers back. up, two receivers what I call? down. Did I call it? Handoff goes to 21. And who is there but the big hungry himself? <laughs> the big hungry. <laughs> Dude, he is hungry. He's BA, I call him fools. BA. <laughs> and Chando is Brandon. He's chowing on these fools, man. <laughs> he he came is from the something. left side. And I love that, it, you know, he, he's like, he's thick. He's 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 all about it, about it. <laughs> let's get the let's get the height and weight on that boy. Uh, he is. I'm gonna tell you his height and weight. He's 5'7", 207 pounds. No, he's probably about 190. Oh, are you guessing? Or are you? I'm guessing. Oh. I'm guessing. Well, I got it right here. He's 5'7", <laughs> like you said. Was that right? 225. <laughs> Quarterback rolls out to the left. Stiff arm there on Anru, but that's uh, not going to be enough. A great hit and wrap. Could you not love, get back. And to you love to see scrimmage. when quarterbacks make tackles on defense. That's crazy. And like Anru, <laughs> he's kind of more in that linebacker slot. A lot of cor um, a lot of the quarterbacks you see, they'll play, play safety. safety yeah. or they'll play corner. Right, but you don't usually see him in that front seven. I it's, know. We got to get him in the gym, though. We got to get those arms. His arms aren't as big as they need to be. Well, I think. you know, but Brady Quinn had like super big arms as a quarterback. And then yeah. the Broncos, you know, when he came here and he like he looked good, you know. It's not, it's not all it looks to be. Throw that game. Here we go. Who do we have down hey, there? Hey, Jazzy Martinez is on the sideline right now with Sawyer Pettit. I'm here with Sawyer, who got the third touchdown for Team Blue. How are you feeling today? Feeling great, feeling great. Awesome. And how, are you having fun out there? Yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun out there. Awesome. What did you eat today that just made you so beast mode? Um, I had an egg sandwich with some bacon. Perfect. And back to you. Thank you. Sir. Hey. Thank you, Jazz, tossing up her game. What'd you eat today? Come on. One of the things I'm noticing is when we ask these kids what Where'd they've you eaten sleep today, last night? the answer is <laughs> bacon. Bacon. I'm pretty sure the answer is <laughs> bacon, guys. Um, the bacon. fourth graders were having bacon. The fifth graders are having bacon. <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. bacon. Nah, maybe that's the key. Maybe that's what I've been missing. Unru back in at quarterback. Uh, air it out. I'd be looking for some aerial attacks coming up here. Okay, two receivers. He's got one on running backs, one on each and side. He hands off on the double reverse. Reverse play coming oh, here. No. And sure enough, oh, these guys no. have got tricks up their sleeve. <laughs> he almost got to the sideline. Excellent pursuit. That was Devon on Daniels. Defense. Yeah, we asked him to. Uh, we just asked him some questions a little bit ago about his touchdown, and now he's getting the reverse play. Cooper Fisher hunts that play down, or he goes for six again. I love that. Yep. I always gotta. You always gotta give love to those guys that hunt it down and. and even if it's a big gain, it wasn't big enough to get points. Right, right. Oh, so absolutely. Huge track down Comes from there. the lack, uh, linebacker position. Andrew's got a running back on each side of him. One tight end to the right. Two receivers down on the bottom. And an offsides. Man, I'm not sure who's coaching them up on this, but each team has had a, a couple of those encroachment penalties. Because yeah. they're doing the hard, hard counts. Yeah, no, Andrew gave him the old. It's Hadad! working. Hadad! Yeah, that was Johnny nice. Speak great at that. Scared the hell out of me. Johnny sometimes. Elway? I, I had to stop listening to him. Are you talking about my friend John Elway? Yeah, Juan. Juan Elway. He was asking guy. about He told me to tell you hi. Okay, cool. He was like, oh, you know Mark? 
Tossing Deep it up. ball to the left side. Ball's up. Ooh, good defense. Devon could not bring it down. Come on. Good defense, great, good offense. Great effort. Threw it up. One-on-one, 50-50 -on -one, catch. And Brayton Meglin stopped that thing. Devon Daniels is a nice target out there. He's, he's got some strength in his upper body, but you can tell he's got strong legs, too. Like, he, he gets off the line quick. And then when it comes to throwing a spiral, take a look at these, these passes Bentley Unruh's making, man. And I was watching him yesterday, and... You know, he's I didn't realize who it ball. was uh, pregame. I was like, mm, 14's got a nice little arm on him. He spins that ball. It comes out of his hand like just with perfect rotation. I've been watching this kid for what, four years now? Four or five years. Taught him four everything he knows. Years. I can't tell who's quarterback right now. Are there two running backs to the left side? There are. Quarterback Bentley Unruh's keeper. keeping and it he's himself. Got some speed. Little QB keeper's got some speed. He's got Look jukes. <laughs> that ball started on the 40 Dominoes. yard line and it ended on the 29 yard line. That's a gain of 11. And I thought that was a cool play. Have you seen a formation like that before? Two no, running backs I, I, to the that left? That was pretty scary, yeah. Okay, there's two they're running backs to the left. Up now here. And they're both lead blockers. And then they got a nice strong O-line. Which, you know, and we love talking about all the talented guys that play, you know, wide receiver and quarterback and all that. But, you know, you got to kind of give a shout out to these Cade Gamble. I mean, Cade's a stud out there. And he's a great kid. He, he was at Duck Races. Right now. Yeah, he was there. Jantiel Gonzalez. Oh! Another Aaron high snap. snap. That's the gift and the curse of playing shotgun. I, I'm amazed at the fourth graders that are playing shotgun. He's crazy. And the yeah. fifth graders are playing I've, shotgun. I haven't seen very many snaps taken from center. That just no, a, no, it's a, it's a lost art. It's a it's a dying breed taking. It's almost scary to snaps do Snaps under center, but the thing do we is, we have a timeout called or that's the end oh, of the, in the first quarter. quarter. Yeah, in so the quarter. Quarter break has come. Twenty four points. Scored by one team, zero points scored by the other thing. Everything's coming up blue today. Um, does that mean the white team should go ahead and mail it in, Mark Jackson? Or what no, are you telling absolutely them right not. now? What are we you telling them in this huddle? To play? You know something, the great thing about this football uh, thing called uh, football? Yeah, what is, what is so great about this? It's not over till it's over. Called football, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. the truth. Yeah, and I don't see no fat ladies around here. Go ask Auburn in, not in the first legendary quarter. Iron Bowl where Ooh. Alabama ran that thing back. Jeez. Go ask uh, the New Orleans Saints how Steph Diggs is doing. Wow. Yeah, you know, I don't think the uh, the white team has played horribly bad. The blue team is just connected on everything so far. So we'll see. Starting with the opening play, which definitely we saw that in the seventh grade game, uh, the opening series. They came out, ran the ball right down their throat, and and scored on the very first uh, in that very first series. Same thing happened in this game. I think it just kind of startles the other team for a second, but there's plenty of time to get this thing back under control. One of the tough things, too, is when you're behind in an all-star game like this is that you haven't practiced with these guys other than three times in the last five days, whatever it may be, right? So yeah. if this was you and your boys, if this was me you know, me and my— We've always come back. Yeah, we, yeah, we have confidence. If this was me and my Cherry back. Creek Bruins yeah. or my Fountain Middle School guys or 5280 Junior Buffs, then, yeah, then I feel good that the guy I'm looking next to, we can do this together. It is a little difficult when you're looking at a guy you never really looked in his eyeballs before till, till Thursday, you know, and now we're going— Head to head. Well, I think one of the things you'll find, they're all all-stars. Oh, yeah. So this is the best of the best. So even on your own personal uh, league team, you know, you know, most great teams have maybe three or four good, really good players that carry them. Every player out here is a good player. So, yeah, you, you don't have any, uh, a lot of weakest links out here. Oh, no. No, everyone's as talented as can be, including this kid. Quarterback Bentley Unruh sees a running back, sees a receiver going deep. It's Kawhi. Oh, just spun it over his head. Threw it too far. Man, good this arm. Is, the last couple games, fifth, sixth, seventh, you start to see them overthrowing the guys, you know, or sixth, yeah. seventh, eighth. Fourth and fifth, you see them underthrowing a lot of picks and stuff like that. But, man, good arm. probably a throw he'd like to have Some back. strength. Here's a, here's a replay. Nice that seam route but there. But here's the thing I want everybody to see is he steps into the pass. Of what we saw in the last game, same number, 14, different guy, Jackson Barrows. Bellaro, I'm sorry. He wasn't able to step, and I don't know if you're, I'm not sure if it was the pressure that he got earlier in the game, but even when he had an, a chance to step forward, he was still throwing the ball off his back foot. And that's just a fundamental thing that you have to, you have to correct that. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're playing shortstop or if you're Pat Mahomes, um, then, yeah, you can do some off-balance throws. But quarterbacks, like yeah. until you're Pat Mahomes, just yeah. plant and fire, bud. Anru sees a hole, keeps it himself. Didn't like what he saw downfield, so he took it downfield himself. That's his second run of over 10-plus yards. 
needed something to happen there. Unfortunately, it was yes. third and 29. 29 there, so I think that brings up a fourth down. They're going to most likely go for it for one of three reasons. One, they're up by 24. Uh, two, there's no punts, right? So you just well, give the other team the ball 40 yards away, and they're inside the 40. Um, and also there's no field goals. This. And, he, and he, put the guy, he put the other team at a dis, disadvantage, I thought. Putting it on their own three-yard line or two-yard line when you're down just adds more pressure to it. But I like the fact that they're going for it. I think it's, I think it's a benefit for the white team, though. I don't think you going need to bomb it. this either. I think if you throw it to the 20, 25-yard line and let them get 10 extra yards, you know what I mean? Try and hit someone at the 28-yard line and get eight more yards, get down to the 20, right? That's where they got to get to. Yeah. Um, so to me, it's like don't, feel, this coaching. don't feel like you got to send a bomb route, you know. Now, that being said, no one, no one runs the seam route better than, than our guy Kawhi. He's, he's pretty special at oh, getting yeah. open. So, <laughs> And, you know, he's you got hard a lot of guys on that blue yeah, roster. He's that hard to guard, yeah. Dante Daniels. Is, Devin Daniels. Petit. And, yeah, Devon da Daniels and Dante. Well, Pettit, I'm sorry. Kawhi are, are pretty special. And then, you know, we've named all the running backs they have. We actually haven't uh, named Kristen, Christian De Degro Alpiche yet, but I'm sure we'll hear his name too. Blue team seems to be feeling good, right? They're, they're all got the camaraderie. White team still trying oh, to get you're it scoring a out. trick play in the first game, uh, first play of the game. I mean, you're having fun. You're Let's just see, which one fun. of these There's names is going to make make a play? Which one of these guys? Is it going to be Aiden Espinosa? He's a great player. We know he, what he can do. You know, is it going to be, is, is Darwimple going to make a big play on defense? Yeah. Oh, wait, is that the eighth grade team? Oh, sorry, yeah. that was the seventh grade team. My fault there. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. I saw Barrientos. There's and I was the like, eighth grade. I, was, mm, I, I meant to bring that be. one up. There I know that is. kid. These are the names. Yeah. That. Dang. There's right, players here on here that can make plays. Oh, absolutely. So if I'm Segundo Ortiz and I know I got Ricky Weeks, Rafe Cox, Jaramillo, you know, and I got Aaron Knight on my team, I got Ethan Ashetu, you know, then, yeah, I actually feel pretty good about my odds of getting back in this game. Um, and it starts with getting a stop. And what did they do on the last play? They got a stop. Yeah. Now they got to start getting some scores. Just get the first down. Let's start with the first down. While you're on to and something, the coach, Mark, you see what the coach did. He, he punted, right? Check the stats, yeah. But we're into the second quarter, and we, they have zero yards. Right. So that's why they have zero points. This is, I'm not a Columbo. I'm yeah. not an expert. You, you leapfrog uh, that whole idea right. of move the chain. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get points when you, when you can't move them chains. Yeah, right. so you're, you're on to something there. I'm trying to, I'm like, they should get a 90-yard touchdown. You're like, they should get nine yards. Uh, yeah, let's get some positive plays. No, I think you're onto something. And find something that you feel comfortable with that works, right? But it's hard to get positive plays when you don't have a positive attitude, right? It's important to, like, be the one in that huddle right now that believes That's why the, you're an all-star. Believes the most. All-stars always have positive attitudes. Well, yeah. I mean, some Especially guys are used in to the just second quarter. taking fools. You know. <laughs> a minute 30 into the second quarter. You better, yeah. You better keep believing <laughs> Okay, here we go. In his own end zone. Taking the snap. Going looking for the deep. money. We got our wide. Oh, we got a little oh. battle for the ball. Kawhi Man. ends up winning it. Good try there. That was our Almost guy. Made Colton awesome Jones place. going up for it. But Dante Kawhi, we know he what he can do. And uh, I like that they're taking deep shots. But at the same time, mm. if you got zero on first down and you got zero on second down, then it's third and ten. See how I'm doing, Mark? I see, I see the math. Is this? I see what you're kicking to me, Is this Mr. the kind Gersh. of stuff Brent Musburger gives you? <laughs> I got to see that. I mean, is this? <laughs> this is next level stuff uh, here. How about a crow out? Their safeties aren't playing very deep, though. I, oh, gosh. This is not. I'm looking for a slot out route. Oh, yeah, a little underneath in the slot. I like that, too. Okay, pass goes out to the flats. Out That's the flats. 14. Making a nice catch. Jojo Delgado. Jojo Delgado, nice little catch there. Nice way to handle it, way to take care of it. But unfortunately, I think that's not enough for them. And yeah, you're going to have to punt that thing. This is not a fourth down I would consider going for. No. And or it looks like is it? They haven't changed yet. Or is it? Um, Why would you go for this? Why would you? I would not. I would not. I, I think My team's, I don't think he even, he may not know what he's doing, but maybe he does. Maybe he has a great play that he thinks is going to open this whole thing up. He's got to open up a can of kick butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Here we Coach go. Rankin, let's open up that can. Come on. Let's go. This is what movies are made of. One of the of. cool things, too, here is we got the Legendary. Arch Archuleta cam Well, here. you got some space here on your safety. 
Ricky Weeks Little there. curl route. That's all you need. Oh, might have been a false start. Oh, they're looking start. for Oh, no. I think it was a false start. I think he was just doing a hard count. Jojo to Delgado. See, to see if he can get him to draw him off. Didn't work. Now punt the ball, please. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Good stuff. So that's why you don't go for it. Well, I'm sorry, that's why you don't punt it, so you can try and get a free five yards. No, I, that's brilliant. Yeah. Wow. Net, net passing yards in this game, 162 for the blue team, one yard for the white team. That is not good. That's crazy. Not good statistically. It's tough. You know, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think, you know, some of, some of these guys were in the game last year in the seventh grade. You know, like Unruh was in the game last year, and I don't think his team won, you know. Yeah. So even no, if you've been in this right. thing, you know, even if you've been in this thing before, it doesn't mean you've won this thing. And there might yeah. be kids who finished oh, their game today, replay. and they're 0 for nice. 2. Oh, Dude, yeah, I made a catch like that before on a guy's helmet. <laughs> that was almost like the Tyree uh, what, did you used to play catching football? The, in the Giants. Yeah, years ago, years ago, in another like, life almost. You what, know? A D-back or what were you? Uh, I was a wide receiver. What? Yeah. Get Pretty good cool winner at that. that. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the catch? If I do say so myself. That's a, it's like a legendary play from around yeah. these, these parts. Dwight, Dwight Clark was the catch. I mean, you would think if you're going to have a Colorado Youth <laughs> Football Invitational, you'd probably have a guy who, uh, who uh, finished off the drive. Yeah, why not? We couldn't Emotion. get Dwight Clark, so we got Mark Jackson there instead. You go. <laughs> <laughs> Quarterback sees oh. it, looks around. A time, pulls it down. Pulls it down, puts a little. Takes a hit. Puts a little pound on him. That's Andrew Neese. Roth. He's tough. Cox. He's he's strong. What Rafe? One of the, what, I'm sorry, Rafe Cox on the tackle. Uh, let's go Rafe. Rafe, I think I spoke with him yesterday, and I. Oh, is that what he said? Did you confirm that? I did. I asked him. Yeah. Rafe. All right. So who put that in there? Well, you. You said Rafe, and that's fine. Yeah. But I, I think we're just going to, boom, we're going to get Rafe. right through. We're going to go Rafe. Yeah. <laughs> Nine minutes left in the second quarter. Great tackle. 24-point deficit for the white team. Blues got the ball, and the quarterbacks have really been running nicely today. They kind of get spread. They run deep, and then they just keep it. Yeah. Well, the quarterback didn't keep it this time. Hands it off. Nice up the middle. Off. Big 42 nice gets it. He's on his way. That's Kobe. Kobe, Kobe Chazee. He's a nice little player. Another one of the... Thoroughbreds they got in the backfield there. Kobe, if I'm not mistaken, he's a Parker kid. Yep, comes from Parker Hawks. Full-time running back. Lots of talent back there. 5'8", 135. You think these kids, like, you think they lie about their height and weight like you pros used to? Oh, yeah. You think so, or you think these They're kids are, like, taller. being real honest, and they're like, mm. I'm just going to be honest? <laughs> no. uh, nah, we all lie. Nah. It's called uh, we speaking lie, as yeah. though it were. It's in uh, the Bible. Check my driver's license. It's it, says, it says I'm six feet. <laughs> so I'm there guilty of it, too. Speaking of <laughs> guilty as charged, unbelievable run right up the middle. Is that Jaden? Who's tackling him? No, that's Christian. Christian. Kalai Degro oh, El Pichi. You were talking about I knew about we were going to bring him up, yeah. but I didn't know it was going to be in such an awesome fashion. I was hoping not because I couldn't pronounce his name, but I was just looking at that. Let's, like, let's go for it. Give it a run. No. Can't do it. How about we call him CK all day? All day CK. No, Let's CK all go. day. Yeah, because he's got that CK in the beginning. Day grow. And then day is part there oh. and all's in the back. CK. CK all day. Hey. Okay. Everybody gets a nickname, Mark. Okay. That's so awesome. Everyone's running to the other side of the field. Why do you think they're doing that, Mark? Well, it's a change of possession. Incorrect. Oh, for the uh, field goal. We're not going to kick into the flag. Good guess. There just a sign of, of, of respect. Just for so our... you're wondering here, Coach GTV came in and flexed their muscles a little bit and said this is going to be a one upright game because we got a camera up there. We call that the Archuleta Cam. Okay. Archie View. And we uh, would prefer not to have a big net in the way of our, our shot. I thought it was because the flag was there. You don't want to kick into the flag. I like my story better. Just to show some respect for You know what? Flag. Coach G flexed their muscles, and they said, <laughs> nobody kicks into the American flag. There you go. Yeah. That sounds like a nah, much right. better story. You're right. You fixed it. And the it. kick is good. Kick is good. Come on. Four for four? That one went. Where the last one went? Where the last one went? Went. Where the last one went? Thanks to Went. Thanks to Went. Where'd he, he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay. Where'd he at? Let's see what we got. Wow. 32 now, wait a second. If you look at I wish I had the scores of the game. The sixth grade game was pretty tight. I think 13 to 6. The 17th game was 44 to 
Zero? Uh, Mark, I'd love to talk more about this, but we got to get down to the sideline Let's of Jazzy it. Martinez. I'm here with Christian, who just scored yet another touchdown for Team Blue. How are you feeling out there? I'm feeling great. I bet. Um, are you having fun? Of course. What did you eat for breakfast that made you go beast mode today? Pancakes and Nutella. Perfect. Combo right there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Back to you. <laughs> Pancakes and Nutella, Dang. baby. Come on. All the way. All the way live. That's CK all day. Oh, that I Nutella. See. Jazzy's getting so much more loose. She said he went beast mode on him. Right. She's getting comfortable. She's getting better at this thing, Dude. right? We only got five more games after this. There so. you go. By the by, the the last game of the night, which should finish around 4 a.m., uh, <laughs> she'll have this thing done. She'll have this thing down, baby. Bring your snowplow with you. B-Y-O-S-P. Bring your snowplow. With you. <laughs> no, S-P. Uh, we thought we were doing the whole thing. No. Well, that was our guy, CK, all day. He's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, he that is. A, I mean, that was the first time he touched the ball. So much talent. And he man, went to the you. house with it. White team has to respond here. Let's get some points on the board, guys. There you go. There Pass you go. Pass out to the right side. There, there we go. go. Now we got Jaramillo in space. There now we go. got Jaramillo. He knows what go. to do. Oh. You telling there me, Turk? They don't there attack on Jaramillo. There He's you loose. go. No Man. one's gonna get him. Did you see that? Did you see the high step on that brother right there? Adios, Jaramillo. Adios, Jaramillo. We did it. I knew Come it. We on, believed. Man, we believed. We never gave up on these kids. These guys are unbelievable. Absolutely. What a run. Dang. He is so sweet. Give him Look the belt. This. Give him the belt. Give Boom. him the belt. Catches it at the 20 yard right. line. Makes a sweet little move One at juke. the 40. One missed tackle. He's like, you see how he stopped on your boy? McDaniel now, hey, hello. Hey. Hello. That's, my boy is 26, if I'm telling you what. No. Shout out to Santino. The Vaughn Daniels has been all over the field. That's true. He's he did a hesitation boy. on him and then accelerated away from him. Oof. He, he was, I think Devon would be the first to step up and say, hey, that boy's got skills. That boy good. Mm -hmm. that had a, but that had a meal. Look at this little high kick he does. Right here he jumps before. He right. knows the no. tackle's coming. And he kind of like, does a little high step. Blocked. Extra point was blocked. What? Just when the white team needed some extra points, Did we they get couldn't get the extra points. Owen Spire gave it. Spear gave it his best shot, but I tell you what, if we got a replay of that, I'd love to see who got their mitts on it. Jeez. Here we go. 23. Oh, man. 2-3. Yep. That's our guy, Sar Sawyer Pettit. We had him earlier. We talked to him before. Wow. Marcelo Jaramillo on the incredible run that gets them off the schneid. Yes. The white team was needing it, and now we need to hear from them. Let's go down to Jazzy. I'm here with Marcello from Team White. How, he just scored a touchdown. How does it feel to put some points on the board for your team? You know, the game right now is not going the way we want it, but just to be able to put some points on the board, get my team back rolling, you know, that's what we needed. How are you keeping your energy up throughout the game? You know, just keep my head up, you know. Sometimes not everything going to go your way. You just got to keep fighting and, you know, I mean, we 32 to 6. I mean, seem big, but we can come back. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Back to you. I love that's, this. That's my I guy. love these kids, man. Yeah, they get it. They uh, get it. I wish looked. I had a big van. How about a truck? If I had a big 16-wheeler, I'd take all the kids home with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, was, I, I love it. 32-6, you know. seems big. We can pick it. Yeah, pick it. Oh, Uh-oh, hitch and go. Yeah, oh, boy. And now white team's starting to but feel. But my homie said, uh-uh. Oh, white team just needed we to see a couple points on the board. We don't give you that much time to hit my boy Bryce Bolton. Bolton. No, that's Ethan Ashay too there. No. For the white team, eighth grade white. Let's see. I don't know. I disagree. Okay. Who'd you say? Well, he's right here. He's this one right here, number white, 99. I thought he was 88. Dang, man. I saw 99. Where's up with my eyeballs? That's all right. I'll just. We'll catch the re replay next year. You owe me a uh, steak dinner for that one. There's Boom. 99 right 99. there. 99. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> High so, snap with a handoff. Oh, that's Elijah Wan Jones. Woo, boy, white him. team's feeling it. Is it crazy how a little touchdown can just get your adrenaline flowing? Well, Come and on. especially when it comes from your guy, Jaramillo, right? My guy. Oh, who, that's just a hell of a play. He's, a, he's your leader. You know that what I mean? That's a heck of a play. And your leader leads, and then. It wasn't. That play was supposed to go for maybe eight yards. Not a 10. 
Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. And then, when, but when you see it, when you're 99 and you're on the sideline, you're like, let's go. Uh, yeah. He's making Absolutely. plays. I'm making plays. Absolutely. I'm making plays. He's Smallest making plays. Smallest guy on the field. Smallest guy on our team is making plays. And we I got to make plays. We did see a pick six last game. First one in CYFI Ooh, wait history. A so what, a, what about something. the white team getting a pick six here? What I do you see think? something here. Make a game out they of it. They got Brandon in the backfield. High oh, snap again. And he's got it, but he didn't get it. ruins everything. They were thinking about uh, giving. Oh, yeah. They were thinking about giving Brandon a chound with a handoff there. Right. They were going to give it to the big fella. Spied that out there. So did the white team, it looks like. Let's see what they're going to do. It should be fourth down. What's, what's this, a CU situation? Should be fourth down here. Well, let's check the old marker. Yeah, so the forward. marker says fourth. We're always going to go with the there marker. There we go. Yeah, there we I go. feel really good about that guy. I wonder what coach is thinking about. Stop oh. that clock, man. That's a stop. No, let it go. There we go. Let it go. That was a big stop by the white team. Absolutely. Just like we got done talking about. Why they, is the clock going? They scored a huge touchdown. Why's the clock going? No clue. It, it, hey. It wouldn't confuse you, right, if this guy and this guy and this guy were the same guy? <laughs> anyway, exciting times right here. White team, if you're asking me, is white team back? Oh, they're back, baby. Oh, yeah. They're just, back. They're getting the end zone right here. Now the blue team, mission impossible. Here's your goal. You need a three and out. Okay, Coach Jackson. This is a little stop here. 26, of course. Where is he? Is he out there? No, he's not out there. He's it's taking not. a break. Well, anyway. You going to add some time to the clock? No. Penalty. Legal substitution. They got too many guys the out there, too. Four, defense. six, eight, ten, eleven. Do they have 12 guys out there? Yeah, well, they had, no. they had 12, and then they ran too many on or something. Yeah, it's a, a legal substitution. They got 12 out there now. They need to take one out. There you go. See, penalties and stuff like that start happening. It's called momentum. Mo. Mo. Mighty Mo. You just got to get the, Mo on your side. Mighty Mo's on the get side Mo of the on white your side team. Here's a high pass. Happen. Crazy things. It's a throw up. It's a toss up. Crazy things happen, Gersh. When you get Mo on your side, crazy things can happen. Crazy things can help you. Can you Touchdown. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me tell you, penalties. Isn't that amazing how this thing ebbs and flows and ebbs and flows? And here we go. Tavish, Come on. Burt, Tavish, Ricky Weeks. Burt. You mentioned Ricky Weeks oh, just yeah. a second ago, right? When we were looking at the lineup, you said, man, when well, you got Ricky Weeks on your team, you got an opportunity. You got a chance. You got a chance. Just give me a chance, coach. I said his name, too. I said, when you got a guy like Tavish Bird on your team, watch this. Yeah. Look at the slow mo. He high points it, strong, strength, right? And then doesn't take it down to the ground, takes it to the house. There you go. That's it. <laughs> hey, Mark, let's play some football. That was close. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, that was sweet. I'm like, Mark, I'm, I was going to call this, and you're like, oh, I got this. Like, you know what? Take That's it. And then, you, and then it was a huge tutty. Look at these guys. So they're figuring it out. See, the other the other guys didn't even have their hands up. Some of them were rushing earlier. You cannot rush on the extra point kick, but no. you can try and block it. And Let's so, make sure they get, all right, do they have enough players out there? Two, four, all right. Everybody's quiet. Blocked Ooh. again. I think that was Kawhi. He went up for that thing. Guys. He's jumping like Kobe Bryant up there, man. I think I would back the ball up a little bit. What do you think? Back the ball up? Yeah. So wouldn't that make you kick it lower because you're trying no. to? No. You back it up. That thing, how's the ball go? It's going to go like this? If I go, it's going like this. There we go. This. Check this here. Ball comes out. Does it come out low? It comes out pretty good height. But um, nah. for the most part. Back that ball up. I am the kicker. Um, yeah, right. You ain't what never do you kicked call it? a field what's, goal in your what's life. What's Caesar? Caesar you never uh, kicked a field goal in your The whisper. I'm the kicker whisperer. Nah, -uh, we already got him here. That's no, Robert. No, dude. Um, no, not him. Yeah, That's Robert, the guy. Scott. He's from Scotland, bro. Yeah, who he can cares? Whisper he's got a Scottish. good accent and everything, but he doesn't know how to talk to get into his head. I get into their heads. I did it earlier. You missed it. Here we go. Ben Leonru with quarterback. <laughs> Ooh, Pass off to the right side. There's Kawhi Dante. Catches it. Oh, ball hit. Ball's out. I think white team's got it. I think white team's got oh it. Oh, my think gosh. White team's it, got it. it. I'm telling oh. you what. I'm telling you oh. what. That is number four for the white team. <laughs> I don't even know who it is. Who is this guy? Warren? Unbelievable. No, it's a Warren on the back of the jersey there. Jaden Montoya. W Warren. I don't see it. Anyway, yeah. he makes the tackle. Jayden he knocks Montoya the ball. Warren. 
Okay, there you go. He knocks the ball out. There he is. My fault. Jaden Montoya Warren. Yeah. Jaden Warren. Incredible work, buddy. He, he Ebbs he, and flows, bro. Well, and that's Dante Kawhi, right? He's a great player. We know he's strong. We know he can get it. But um, he made the tackle. He made the fumble. And he got the recovery. Let's check it out here. Boom. Ball gets out. It's slow motion. And we can see Kawhi comes. Slow motion for me. There's Warren. Boom. Oh, hat, yeah. hat on the head ball. And then everyone sees it. Everyone knows it's out. Only one guy's going to get it. Wow. And that one guy was Warren. Powerful. Who they got in the backfield? That's 14 in the backfield. Yeah. That's JoJo. We've Jojo seen him before. again. Yeah, we know him. JoJo's a he's cool. He's got a little Mike Allstott in him. He <laughs> Purdue legend. <laughs> right? A little Mike Allstott in him. When you go back to the Purdue football parties, oh, is, is, gosh, is why'd Mike you have there? To mention that? Always. Is he? No, we have an alumni. We have. We actually have one coming up here. I got to check that out. Did you need out. me to play in the golf tournament with you or anything? The alumni golf tournament with you? It's coming up, huh? Oh, man, I drop bombs, Mark. <laughs> and I, I make putts in scrambles. I don't, like, if it's for my owner, I'm trying to win money, then no. I no, three not putt really. for bogey, of course. But. Oh, no, penalties kill. Penalties kill. No, penalties what? are not a good thing. Penalty? I like a good... Uh, Shoot. I like a good competitive game. Speaking of those Boilermakers, <laughs> they won by 59, it looks like. Or is that 49? That's 49, sorry. I get my 59 and 49 Come point on. deficits mixed up. No first round outs for our Boilers this year. We try Utah State. All right. Yeah. Weeks Jr.'s back. Ooh. He's got a wide receiver. Oh, not quite open there. 51 Man. Yeah, the closed guy on the nicely. Post. Yeah, 51 closed nicely. That was Marcus Martinez. Um, what did you see? Saw something on the backside? Yeah, we had a post on the backside, but it came open late. He's not going to have a lot of time. Um, no. Blue defense is we've pretty already good seen, at putting on the pressure. Yeah, we've already seen what 29 can do. We know 99's got game. We know, right. geez, I mean, 11, all these guys across the front line. are athletes. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, and what's interesting is we were talking screen about pass. Bentley Unruh. I haven't seen the screen pass today. Hmm? Today, I haven't seen one screen pass all day. Quick screens out to the receivers, but I haven't seen a design screen play. I wonder if they're not allowed. That's probably too complex, huh? I wonder if you can't, like, send, yeah, cause you pull in you can't send and linemen, stuff. like, five yards down the field or something. I don't mm -hmm. know. I guess that's illegal anyway. But Weeks Jr. Yeah. gets the snap. He's got JoJo See, in the block and just pressure coming for days. But that what do you do? A, that How do you beat pressure? You get rid of it quick. You get it to a fast guy, and you let him do the work. There you go. Touchdown, Colt Touchdown. Jones. Touchdown, Colt Jones. <laughs> Colt Jones. Dang. Colt Jones to the house. Now, I didn't think he was going to go to the house. Because Colt didn't look like he had that much motor in the back of his Honda. But he did. He, he took that thing to the house. Oh, man. And now, you, you know what they just ran, Jeff? It was a screen. It was, it was it a was tight end modified, screen. Watch yeah, it. Yeah, it no, watch the linemen. They're going to let them come through. Watch the linemen. They let them come through. And then he ran. It was go, a Mark. screen. You called I called it. You got it. <laughs> nice little bubble screen. You're you're onto something there. Are you a dad or something? You keep worrying about me falling off the thing oh like, like you're going to catch me. No. <laughs> like, I am a dad. What are you going to do? I'm not George. <laughs> well, here's what's going to happen, Mark. You're not going to fall because I'm going to catch you, you save your life, uh, and then we're going to be bros. There you go. <laughs> for history. Forever. Okay. It's been blocked the last two oh, times. Oh, that's just slow. So he's lost his confidence. We just got to just tell him chip shot. Well, kick it as high as you can, even if it doesn't make it to the net. Just kick it as high as you can. Get under the ball. But look at the score. Hey, wait a minute. That, yep. That's not, But oh, the score, Mark, if no you think extra about points. it. Hey, yeah, you think six about points. It, it should, should be 24 or 32. Then they'd be right down by nothing. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately. But, you, one but, but you also got to go for the two point. When you're down that many, you do got to go for it. You can't just yeah. say go get the one point conversion. Well, the one um, point conversion hasn't been easy. In the first two games, it, it 0% success rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah In 0 existence. for like 8. Um, so, yeah. Crazy game. Five Man. minutes left. We're Whoa. in the second quarter, and we're going to go down to the sideline for Jazzy. Keep working. I'm here with Colt Jones, who just scored some more points for Team White. Are you guys on the comeback? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, second quarter team, honestly. Comeback's coming. Um, are you having fun out there? Oh, lots of fun. Touchdowns are lit. Team's good. Awesome. Thank you so much. Back to you. Hey, I Mark. love it. Love it. Love Touchdowns it. Touchdowns are lit. lit. Team's good. Team is good. I like his attitude. I love that, man. We just literally discussed that if the extra points or extra two-pointers would have gone through, this right. is a six-point game. This game is far from over. Right. Eight-point game. What do you think? F first one, two. Yeah, good call there. First one, two. 
41 wins this thing? Do you think the blue no, team can get no, the 40? No, no, no. I think it's going to be a 54-48 game when it's Ooh. all said and done. <laughs> Take that for data. Yeah. All right. Blue team's ready to go. Yeah. Oh, man. White Snap team's goes up. It. White team is on White fire. White team is filling it. Where they couldn't do anything right before, things are falling into place for them. It is now third and about eight. That was great pursuit there. Was that Tabor Shortridge on the white team? Number five. He got in there, made sure nothing happens. Getting the pressure he, up He's front. on the offense's right side, the defensive left end there. Red helmet. They're all wearing their helmets, which I think is so cool. That's how you know it's an all-star game. But uh, also, yeah. it just kind of shows you where these kids come from. And sometimes they're playing against their buddies. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The There's duck niece. selection process. Looks over. Finds got his it. wide receiver. That's number four. You got to protect the Daniels. Dane sideline. Come on, Warren. Turn it in, brother. Ooh, they're going to give him, mark him a little short. Keep this interesting. Third and fourth and one. Well, the down marker just flipped to fourth, and it's about one yard away. So, yeah, I think you nailed it. Oh, yeah. Fourth and one. Don't let the, don't let the come picture, up on that, picture fool you down there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at, yeah, that's one yard. Oh, they're playing a little queen. They're playing a little queen right now. That's the DJ. Come that's on, who's your DJ? DJ Devin. What's my DJ's Devin name? Devin the dude, man. He's, a, he's sweet. Yeah. Here we go. And he's the one who's hooking up Kyle Berry with his PA equipment. He takes the snap. He takes it himself. Dies for it for the first. That guy's a beast. Nice a beast. Well, and the blue team, you know, one of the things they've done a it's really like, nice uh -uh. job of. Not today. One of the things they've done a nice <laughs> job of, Mark, what is that? as I was saying <laughs> before my son, who's about to fall off, rudely interrupted me, <laughs> was they run the ball nicely. Their quarterbacks do. And, yeah, uh, both quarterbacks. has eh? a lot to do with how big and strong they are. I mean, both teams' quarterbacks are the biggest player on their, on their team, it looks like. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's pretty interesting. What do you think here? What do you think? We got running back on each side, two wide receivers up to the top. They're going to keep it. Nope, he's going to hand it off. Running play right up the middle. Good Is ball. that our guy? Man. I think again, that's our guy. I think you look at the difference even between the 7th and 8th graders. Is These guys are cutting it uphill. They're, they're putting their foot in the dirt and going north and south. This last game, man, guys were going east and west. It was crazy. They were just running around trying to juke the whole team. And you can see the maturity just one grade level higher. Oh, and you can hear the maturity of the hits, too, if, if we're being honest. These oh, guys, yeah. you know, they, they hit hard and then they hit the ground hard. Like, th these are big boys. These these guys are one year away from playing varsity. Because most of these guys, when they're freshmen, they're going to letter. Wow. You know what I mean? When I was a freshman, I did not have any letters. Yeah, that is the all-star team. I wrote a letter to Santa. Uh-oh. That was about the only letter I had. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you letter Did you letter in high school as a freshman? I'm trying to pick up the coaches. I did not. Sophomore? Nope. Junior? Mm. What? Really? I was a walk-on. Whoa! Ball, oh, ball's out. Nice ball's on the ground. play by number 13 oh, on incredible. the white squad. Who is that? Great Came recovery. in there and made the play, man. Segundo Ortiz, come on. My man. No, that was. Uh, Segundo Ortiz. Huge fumble recovery there by Evan Ingles. Otherwise. Oh, uh, but Segundo stopped that bomb. He was about to, about to put them back on the board. Was there a penalty on that or no? Or no, no. okay. Because I, I thought the guy blitzing around the edge was being held. And, uh, and he still ended up getting here. Watch this on the edge here. Left side, right? Looks like he gets around 44. is trying his best. I think he gets uh, But he still. 13 got in there and got that ball. Yep, Segundo Ortiz. But imagine if white team picks that fumble up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <It's> get, the <laughs> the crowd goes crazy. Lit. Yeah. A okay. little quick screen. Quick screen. Almost Ooh, kind of a wobbler. Yeah. Oh. Put Daniels in a tough position. Maybe take a timeout if you're white team coach What's right here. What's the flag here. for? Oh, boy. It's a late flag. Late flag. Hopefully it's nothing... Hopefully it's nothing too just crazy. Just when I said, just pick that flag up. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you think? On the offense. Dead ball fall after the play on number 15. Oh, I, I missed that. I so missed they that called one. a block in the back. Is I, what, thought he, I thought, I thought he was calling the foul for touching him when he was down, Nine. which you don't have to do in high school. And I was like, please pick that flag up. Let's see what the flag was. Can we find it on the replay? 
Maybe. Well, if we only had replay, here it is. is of course. Yeah. No, yeah. I think number fifteen. See. Watch number fifteen right here. Yeah, it's not there. It's right oh, there. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. He pushes him out of. Yeah. Well, Mark. Hey. We can't condone that kind of activity. Okay. I'm a dad. Oh no, I didn't see I that. I thought, again, I thought the I thought the flag was on the white team for. Oh no, no, it's on blue team. Yeah, it was extracurricular. Yeah. And it was unnecessary. But the, I the, get it. The thing about it that hurts the blue team is it backs them up. You know more than before. I can't tell what's going on now. Maybe they're going to keep the. They're play? punting. The, they're punting the ball. So they're. Oh, so they backed them up and then punted then it punted, forward. Yeah, got it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, what twenty-five. What fun 30, this is! Forty. So yeah, you should be at about the thirty-five. Sixty-seven seconds left in the first half. Uh, the ball the, is now the white now team's 40, ball. At the forty-four. If they can get a score in the next sixty-seven seconds oh and bring gosh. this thing even to under ten. 24 to 8. It would be the, the equivalent of scoring, kicking all those field goals. Yeah, the touchdown would be all the field goals. It would be the equivalent of never giving up, which is what we talked about. We Absolutely. Knew, we knew these kids were like that. Learn something from this. Just like Kung Fu Panda. 26 in the backfield. He's Here we go. Slotting out. They're going for Looking it. It's like, forget kinda, it. Kind of a duckish. Kind of a little ducky ooh. up there. Could Let's have been go. A pass interference. <laughs> and sure enough, oh it was over the God. top. He did. Oh, no, I hope he didn't mess his wrist up like mine. He's holding his wrist. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, hate Somebody to see help that. him. Number three there, Jack Lind running Somebody deep. help him. Rhymes with wind. Let's hope, hope he's going to be okay. He's playing for the Mountain Lions as well, teammate of the Brayton quarterback Michael. Unruh we got here. And there's a see, there's a mountain lion on the white team, and there's mountain lions yeah. on the blue team here. I think, I think that's great. I think it's kind of fun to get to play against Absolutely. your boys. Absolutely. Definitely unusual. Did you play? If like, he's holding it like that, he's all right. Did you play if games in, in the NFL against guys that you played with or that you can remember? I mean, no. Did that happen a lot? Or there's less free agency back then? Or None. I played that right. Th I'm old. Remember how old yeah, I am? Yeah, you are old. I do remember. So free agency came into an existence in 1993 season. Okay. That was my seventh of my nine seasons that I played, my yeah. eighth of my nine seasons. Oh, great pass nice over class. the middle. Look at the white team. Under a minute left, and they are... Knocking. They need to get to the ball, though. On the red zone door. See, the clock is... I'm not going to go there. Clock's ticking. Well, first down they stop it, and then they run it, I think, to move the chains. Um, and then the yeah, timeout by do. Team White is going to be the reason why it stops for this time. Very good. And now we're looking at the balls on the 25-yard line mark. 50 seconds. 49, we'll call it, right? Oh, it's an eternity. And, I mean, boy, oh, boy. Box they got turn. They went from a team the way this team strikes, the way the other team strikes. Yeah, you got plenty of time. They went from a team that looked like the, you know they're they, done. Yeah, they look like going to be the biggest. They were going to say these teams aren't fair. Of the and day. Now, but but deep down they weren't. They never did. But it just looked like kind of one Body team language. Was, yeah, one team was just kind of no, no, not even that. Huh? I would you never thought say just that, the way the scoreboard just the way was, it was going. Yeah, it yeah, just, yeah. It wasn't going to be their night. But guess what? That's that. Those days are over. <laughs> that was earlier today, when the sun was out. And who had the ball first? Hey, if you don't like the score, just wait five Blue team minutes. had the ball first, too, so the white yep. team has the ball coming out. That's huge. Yeah, you're right. Um, That's great the score analysis. here makes it um, a very interesting game. Remember earlier we were talking about white team had zero one, yards. One yard. They now have they one. have 187 total to the 227 of the blue team, but wow. let's go to the passing yards. They're actually got 10 more passing yards, 184 for the white team now, wow. 174 for blue. So, yeah, hats off to the white team coaching staff. Turn it around. And players for not giving up, not giving in, and now we got ourselves a ball game. First and really and 10, a quarter of football. 25-yard line. Passes oh, out, and pass is intercepted. Unbelievable turn of events there. Big hit on the quarterback by number 23, and then 51 makes the interception. That's Marcus Martinez on the interception, but awesome. I don't think that would have happened without the pressure from Sawyer Pettit getting into the backfield, uh, making it hard to Ricky throw. Ricky Weeks looked like he was making the play here. Let me see. Ricky Weeks is ready. He's ready to he throw, up. He threw it behind him. That was he's trying to hit uh, your man Mauricio. You know what's cool is is or what's what's interesting is when Ricky Weeks is playing on Saturdays with his boys. Yeah, I bet he's I bet he's spinning it right. But when Ricky Weeks is playing today, I think he's gripping it a little tight. Mm. I've seen a couple balls come out that just don't have that spin that yeah, he would a that a, a natural kind of confident throw. Yeah. And more of a oh I, you know I don't want to get sacked or I don't want to or oh I really want to make this play. Well, you they're know? putting pressure, man. These guys are good. Oh man, they're all good. not getting a lot of time. Neither no. quarterback. It's a great replay there, too. These cameramen we have today, Nick Archuleta in the back, Alex Becker to my left, Nigel Kangathia on the sideline. You know what? 
I think Nigel's working right now if we, if we speak <laughs> of it. He's down there on the sideline. And of course, Mark Jackson sitting next to me. TV. Hand off to Elijah Juan Jones, and he's got Ooh, nowhere to go. Good. He's thinking about Whoa. throwing it. He might. Whoa. They might have to. What do they call on that? I don't think they'll call Is that it a safety, safety, but maybe the five yard line. He never had four progress. Looks Where's like the four progress? Sideline officials going at about the five or six yard line. Was it, where's he where's he coming up with that? I'm gonna answer that. We'll go, Mark. we'll go. But with right it. after we'll I get down it. to the sideline for Jazzy <laughs> Martinez. <laughs> yes. I'm here with Marcus Martinez from Team Blue who just got an interception to get that ball back right before the half. How are you feeling out there? Uh great. Our team is up by a lot. <laughs> awesome. Are you having fun out there? Yes. And what did you eat for breakfast to bring you into beast mode? Uh biscuits and gravy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Back to you. Marquise Martinez in the house. That was a nice little pick, too, because it had a little velocity on that ball. Biscuit Martinez. Biscuits and gravy. Would you rather be called biscuit or gravy, Mark? Uh, biscuit, definitely. Really? Biscuit. No way. I'd much rather be called biscuit. gravy. Gravy. Oh, rubber biscuit. How cool. Hey, gravy gersh. Nice you to meet you. know what a wish sandwich is? Uh-uh. Two slices of bread, and you wish you had some meat. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Have you ever thought of putting maybe a little Nutella on that? A Nutella and pancakes. And gravy. Come on. And I've bacon? never had Nutella. i got to buy some of that at some point in time. A friend of mine had some, and I was going to just, like, dip my finger You're in this alone, jar Mark. just You're to see what it was like. I, too. Oh, we got a wrap. we got a wrap. It's halftime. It's halftime? On. What? Already. <laughs> hey, first half was a banger. Let's be honest. We thought this thing was going to be a blowout, and it is not that. It not at all. It's a two-possession game, and we know blue team gets the ball coming out at halftime. What do you think blue team, or I'm sorry, white team gets the white ball team. coming out at halftime? What do you think they're looking to do when they get that ball? First downs or just go get that touchdown quick? All-star at, at, at the best. I would I would suggest first downs. I think they, they have actually been just thinking and dunking it, but their players are making excellent plays getting that yak. Yak. It's been Yak a, is what has what's brought them back into big. this game. Guess what else has been big? The trick play. Did you think yeah. the white team who succumbed to a trick play first play of the game, do you think they got one or two up their sleeve? Well, they tried one earlier, and it didn't work. It failed uh, miserably. So maybe they have another one. Awesome. Well, we'll it was see. a great first half. We're going to take a break. We're here on Coach GTV. It's our last game of the night, live on YouTube, and we will be right back after this halftime break. I'm Mark Jackson coming to you live from Boulder, Colorado. And you're watching the Colorado Youth Football Invitational right here on Coach G TV. I'm Jeff Gersh, live from Boulder, Colorado, and you're watching the 2024 Colorado Youth Football Invitational only on Coach G TV. I'm Jeff Gersh, live from Boulder, Colorado, and you're watching the 2024 Colorado Youth Football Invitational, only on Coach GTV. Welcome back. It's the second half of the eighth grade game here at the Colorado Youth Football Invitational. We're live in Boulder, Colorado, snowy Boulder, Colorado, this morning when we got here at 8 a.m. Beauty, bluebird day. <laughs> Today, now it's nighttime. We got one half left of football, and it's blizzard out there. There was a blizzard of plays, though, by both teams. Blue team got out hot. Was it a 32 nothing lead? Yeah. And then 18 straight for the white team. A couple chances there at the end. White's going to start with the ball. Do you think they can get it done? So seven scores already in the first half for this uh Awesome, awesome finish to this year's inaugural. This year, I almost said that again. This year's Colorado Youth Football Invitational. Are we back on this side now? All right, here we go. We're back, baby. Yeah, I'm excited about this. Let's see what the white team can do. No kickoff, so we get right into it. White team gets the ball. Who's that? A quarterback. Wow, it's Jaramillo. Jaramillo at running back. He's still on his feet. That's a nice little six or seven yard game. I like this kid because while he has a lot of jitter and he can juke and cut, cross, 
he gets north and south. That's the key right there. Parker Hogg's in at quarterback now. Maybe Coach here, maybe Coach Rankin's thinking, let's go one half or the other half, because I didn't see uh -huh. Hogg yet. Um, and we Which saw, most uh, coaches aren't doing that. They're yeah. rotating their quarterbacks. Yeah, their they're call. giving them a couple here and there, but right. you know, it'll be interesting to see maybe Parker Hawk can get it going. And as we were talking about there, too, you know, kind of squeezing it a little tight sometimes um, doesn't always lead to the uh, spinniest touchdowns. Plus, we haven't seen Christian Powell yet either. Wow. Quarterback for the white team, too. So Coach Jones does not look like an incredible receiver, but he is. He really is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, bobbled snap. Mops Parker Hogg picks it up, gets a couple yards. Ooh. Actually, could have been a, a that bigger was close. Loss. That could have been really, really scary with a turnover in your territory there, being down by two scores. We just talked about, though, how Parker Hogg hadn't really played all the first half on offense, yeah. at least. So maybe that explains, like, he just kind of had cold hands because he didn't play the first half. It was just halftime, and now he's stepping out there into taking it. a snap in yeah. the shotgun, too. Have you seen one under center yet? I don't Here's think I've replay. seen one. Yeah. Yeah, just a pretty cut and dry. Just he definitely dropped. he was I mean, looking. I think it was a play coming to the right there. He was just looking to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Most of the bad snaps have been high snaps. That one, in fact, was a pretty good snap. Yeah, not a bad um, snap. I think we got to give that one to Hogg. Yeah. Okay, well, there he is. Hogg in the backfield. He's got Owen Newell next to him. He's looking to pass. He's got a receiver. Nice. Bobbled it. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. Catch has give been, him the catch. First down. Catch has been move named, and that's a first down. We're going to move the chains. I like this. I like this that. series right here. Um, I've been asking for just simple hook routes and running simple plays, not going for the 50-50 you know, ball every play. I really like that play call, play selection by the coach and the execution of the play. Okay, you're Mark Jackson, legendary yeah. wide receiver. Do you have a top three favorite routes you like to run? I love the curl route. I mean, in any situation, you're playing zone defense. We're playing all-star football. You're not, not playing man-to-man. -man. In most cases, it looks like they're in a man coverage right now. <laughs> It's a little man, Let's a little see. zone. Little Let's country, see what they, I'll find roll. out when he backfiddles. Hand up yeah, goes to zone. Hadamio. He is a spin cycle. This guy is a machine. It's incredible the yardage he gets. And some guys spin in one spot. He spins and gains like three yards. <laughs> it's amazing how this kid runs the ball. Absolutely love to watch him run. Last year, like you said, he totally dominated the game. Oh, man. I'm just looking for a size. 5'4", 125. Come on. Oh, man. Is it? The crazy thing is he's five foot four, right? But he's got a he's got a six foot tall heart. Oh man! I mean he's he's, I mean, he's got a, the heart of a giant. And Absolutely. He's a great kid, and even his sideline interview said everything I have ever needed to hear. Right? I'm not giving up. Looks My like guys a lot. aren't giving up. Not really. We got a team. Yeah, we got this. And he was right. Why would you give up when you got a team like this? Oh, oh he ground. didn't get the Trouble. ball. Trying to do tricky plays. Jet sweep. And now Parker Hogg's talking to Warren. Warren. Oh, something's going on here. Hold on a second here. Illegal defense? Wait. Wow, they got saved. What's happening? Ooh, challenge, challenge flag is being it. thrown casually. <laughs> Ever so casually. That was a not a stare down. <laughs> it's like, what the WTH? What the heck was that? How do, I'm confused as to what's being challenged here. Right. Um, are they challenging was it how challenging? many men on the field? Or? Dang, I didn't even realize it, but look at how sweet these uniforms are that the refs have. <laughs> what, are they what are we doing here? I have, I have no clue what we're challenging. I, if I'm being honest, what, what would we be challenging? It was a fumble. Are they saying blue recovery? Are they saying white recovery? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's that guy running in the background. No. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Sometimes, sometimes you got to take a look from a I different angle. That what? angle, we didn't quite have it. Let's what see is if, he? Let's see if we have it from Coach this angle. Coach is staring it down. I don't know what we're looking for. All right, let's I see. I think it's recovery. It's who recovered it, I think. Oh, they're calling a pass. I think they're going to call it a forward pass. Ah. Uh, he called incomplete. Ah. Uh, forward pass. Yeah, you could shovel past that. Interesting. Good call. So, it, so you tell me, Mark, is this a forward pass? Here's a I don't look know. At our top-notch replay. If he pushed it to the kid, oh, it is a forward pass, Mark. What a call by the refs. That's a great call. Wow. That's a forward pass. If what he does it, a that call by the refs. You're right. You really are onto something there. I mean, it didn't hit. I thought it hit his up. hip and fell. Uh, is that? No, he pushed it forward. I think, like, 
it's got to be a pass. And here's why I say that. Because the running back had his hands like you this. You could shuffle pass. But he, no, he had his hands like this to catch it. Usually a running back would grab it like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll give yeah, you that yeah. pocket. That right? too. Look, he's not I think that kid was just clueless. Perhaps that happens. We're all, we're all kids at heart. Hey, there's a the guy <laughs> down there. No, we don't have no team. camera. <laughs> Everyone's having fun. Admittedly. <laughs> right, and you know what? Here's what I like, though, too. I like uh -oh. the challenge. Yeah. Oh, they called it a fumble. Uh, they have overturned the call. Another successful coaches challenge. Mm. Guys, they, they don't have like coaches challenges anywhere around here, but we got them at this game. They don't. They got them at Colorado School of Mines. They got them at oh, Folsom at Field. Oh, uh, at the uh, the NS, the five A game, Ralston Valley and Cherry Creek. Did they have one? They did not. They needed to have one. They had the. Uh, they oh, actually have the the droids going up there. What do you call those things? Oh yeah, so no big deal, Mark. We've got better coverage than the five A state championship. Absolutely. Game. Yeah, yeah. Well, if because there was uh, there was a call that where kid was uh, called out of bounds. He wasn't close to out of bounds. But what are your thoughts on coaches' challenges? Do you wish you had them back in your day? Do you? Oh did, yeah, absolutely. Did, there wasn't replay back then. Absolutely. Then I think we might have won the Super Bowl against the Giants. Clarence K had a catch. It was a clean catch. Mm -hmm. But it was calling complete. Man. Crazy turn of events there. Blue yeah. gets the ball, loses the ball, gets the ball, and then wins Still got the a lot of time. Still got a ton of time. Oh, yeah. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left. Handoff went to O.J. Jones there. That's Elijah Wan. He's a nice player. I, he's about ready to, to break one off. 20, yeah, you think? 26. I, I called it with Jaramillo, 26 on the other side. I'm calling it with O.J. Jones. All right, let's see what happens here. Um, but I tell you what, ever since the blue team got to 32, which was like, a replay of this play. He's, he's, get, he's about ready to get loose, okay? Ever Blue since they scored 32, they haven't scored another I'm point. Sure what and the white team's doing, man. That's, I'm a little concerned on defense there. We'll see. What, what, Blue what are you concerned be, about? The, they got a one-yard The Blue team game. seems to the, be more fired up, though. They're, they're firing off. Snap goes. That's quarterback Great keeper. He gets going to the on the left side. Picks up eight. Just That's what I'm CB concerned about. Hill Jr. You see what I'm saying, homie? Can you say that on the air? Yeah, you can say homie on the air for okay. sure. All right. yeah. There's Let's a bar in uh, Omaha <laughs> called the Homie Inn, and they pour champagne on tap. <laughs> you ever heard of a, such a thing? Never. Till Me just and you, now. we should go and be homies. What's the deal on uh, number 44's leg? Somebody explain that to me. Uh, I mean, it looks like a couple of those boys in the back. Got some of those, probably compression, kind of a semi compression sleeve or something to make Evan. sure the blood's flowing. Let me say, Evan, what's that on your leg, bro? <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, that guy has some too. Yo, homie, what's that on your leg? He's like, it's a compression sleeve, sir. Okay. All but right. It's not There's really a sleeve. Evan Ingles there in the background. We're in the backfield, my bad. B Hill oh, gets quarterback the snap, keeper. keeps it himself. He's up the middle. He saw oh, something he liked. Oh, we might oh. have a holding call. He tackled the. Tackle number 40 there. Uh, yeah, I think the penalty is going to be called on. Who's 1 9? I don't even see a 19. You're on the clock, Mark. I found it a second ago, but now I'm, now I'm okay. testing you. Okay, Kate. Kate. Well, give him the whole thing. Kate Gamble on the hole there. There you go. He absolutely tackled. Tackled without a doubt. There we go. Replay here. I mean, Titan I think Williams. He did yeah, a nice you see job. It. He blocked hard across. But here they, he is right here. Yeah, he, I think he did have a little grip underneath and kind of inward there. Under seven minutes we are in the third quarter. This is the eighth grade game here live in Boulder, Colorado. It's the final game of the night. I like competitive games. This is, an, this is entertainment. It's awesome. Well, I'm very happy white team got it in gear in that second quarter. Yeah. Because the first quarter, like, how, how, you know, we're trying our Not best fun. over here, but you got zero yards and zero yeah. points. Oh, he's going for the money. He'll see something he likes. And he what gets what catch. he likes. Number 23 what on the catch. That's catch. our guy, that Sawyer is Mark Pettit. Jackson. That's our guy, Sawyer Pettit. That's a Mark Jackson catch right there. Yeah, go up and get it, We Mark. have to give him the Mark Jackson award for that because that defensive back saw an interception, I promise you. He was just thinking, all right, where am I going to go? Jaden was like, this is my ball. But what Sawyer did that was excellent was he went higher for the ball and got to it first. Here's a great replay. Well, and I think Jaden Warren didn't quite go for it. He thought it was just going to come to him. Yeah, he was waiting for the ball. That's Whereas, the point. Whereas, yep, the, the, the blue guy goes up there, Sawyer Pettit, and is on the attack. Yes. O.J. Jones. Good he hit. He gets hit and wrapped there in the backfield. 4-0. He's serious about this. Titan. 
Yes, sir. Titan Williams, eighth grader, five foot ten, 150 pounds. Grand Junction boy, plays Come with the Redlands Chargers. Grand He's a nice Junction. player. I used to live in Grand Junction, you know. You know I've never been there? 1900 and... I lived in Colorado since 2004. I've never been never to Grand Junction. Never been to Grand Junction? Can you we gotta that? go sometime. I would love it. I hear it's great. It's amazing. Beautiful. There's some state Beautiful parks out place. there. And Utah's not Palisade. Far. Yeah. Hang out. All right. V-Hill keeps it himself. Get some See peaches. some stuff on the right side there. And uh, that stuff he sees yeah. is a bunch of white jerseys. Good gang tackling. That's a big play, though, because third down and eight, right? Or third and seven, we'll call it. Just a short game Big there. Play. They can't kick a field goal. They're kind of too close to punt. You're going to put them in a hard situation here. Two plays. But you got to figure it's four down territory for blue team, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yep, of course. They feel good about this, I'm sure. Kawhi, we haven't really called his name lately. Uh, he's a and in the meantime, the clock keeps tick, 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 tick. So we're about uh, seven minutes into this quarter, and we have not had a score yet. Both teams kind of stopping themselves with penalties or turnovers. There's O.J. Nice Jones look. around the outside. Finally got a little space. I've been waiting for go. him to get a hole. You have. He's been working, you know. Looks like first and goal now. He's been working with no holes. And he needs some Swiss cheese. He needs some holes. He needs some holes in that cheese. We all need holes. Yeah, no, he did a good job of, of getting through that hole. And, and I'm telling you what, when he sees daylight and, and he – Cranks it up a little Got bit. Some speed. He goes from zero to sixty. Good play. Um, that might be an earlier play. Kind of sucking that in. And let's see here. This looks like the. Yeah, there we go. There's the jet sweep. Keep. Well, there he goes there he again. There's. there's Ooh. Oh, hey, Elijah one's getting closer and Man, closer. Down to the one. That offensive line, what did I tell you? They're, they seem to just be blowing off, firing off harder. And that is the difference, my friend. Well, you got Cade Gamble, number 13. He's a great player. Bennett Yerkes, 28. Solid player. Jantiel Gonzalez, number seven. He's a stud, right? And then Zinedine Agulis. I tried my best, everyone. But you got a... Uh, uh you got hey. Brandon Shundo on the on the line now. Look, he's playing he's playing not defense, but playing offensive line now. And big 99's in and there too. And they, they clear the way for OJ Jones to get in. Touchdown blue team. He didn't do a great job. He got blowed back, but the guy was so engaged with him, the running back ran around both of them. That brings it to a 20-point lead again for the blue team. End of the first half. I just keep thinking back to that possession before when White had it. Tried to do a jet sweep. Didn't quite go their favor. I would have loved to have seen that thing go uh, Oh yeah, I didn't really understand game. that. If we could have had a one-possession game at halftime, I think that would have just been the greatest thing. Oh, now yeah, it's it getting a little, a little farther again, and they're going to go for the two-point kick to try and bring it to f in a solid 40. Mm. White team's got all sorts of talent, though, so we're, we're not going to count them out. No, sir. Um, and the blue team, man, they are executing with enthusiasm. They're firing good on game. all cylinders. They got good energy. Remember the, the, down here, the, the refs are looking at the review, and the yeah. kids are waving up at us. Right. They're going, hey, Mark, how are you? You know, they're chill. They're having a good time. They're, they're in TV. a good headspace. Say hi, Mom. And it probably has to do with having talent like, let's see, Andrew Neese, who can play quarterback. V Hill's been amazing. Uh, Bentley Unruh. I mean, yeah. like. If those are your three quarterbacks, I think that's this is the only team that had three quarterbacks, right? Most of them have two quarterbacks. Okay, am I wrong? Would or? you rather have Nice, Unruh, and our guy V Hill, or uh, oh. Jared Stidham? They jumped and blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! I just got that, Jared Stidham. Take that, Denver Broncos. Uh, blocked kick leads to zero points added. Thirty-eight for the blue, eighteen for the white. Under four minutes here to go in the third quarter. We still got ourselves a lot of football left. I wouldn't go changing the channel just yet, unless you are uh, just just insane. Unless you're this a goofball. Is the, this is football. <laughs> Don't be a goofball and go change. Don't this talk one. to our audience that way. I'm just telling you, this white team—they got no quit in them. They got Zero. no give up, right? I know that for sure. And you should Marcelo doesn't. That's for sure. Marcello. 
Wow. Sweet highlights of how we got here the today. There's that play. first play. Yep, that's 99 Gearhart. Pass came from Enroute to V-Hill. Finished wow. off by Gearhart. Tell us about the next one, Mark. Man, this next play, I think, is the pose? No, quick screen that he's going to cut back across the field. Boom! MJ style. Bam, bam! So this actually happened in the, in the preseason. <laughs> Look at the feet. That's Devon Daniels. The speed of that guy. Boom, and he reaches out for the end zone. Touchdown! Here's another play. V Hill throws out. This is the one where Sawyer Pettit makes the play. Yes. Gets himself into the end speed zone. Speed again. They were up. Speed kills. 24-0. Yeah, that's right. All right, back to the action. That was sweet, though. How sweet is that? Yeah. How do Mio gets the handoff? Man, I mean, if you don't Four, wrap five. him up right away, there's yeah. six or seven yards gone. Yeah. But there's been times where he's been Before wrapped you know up it. right away. In the first half, they, they they held him down pretty good. I mean, if in the first quarter the whole team had zero yeah, yards, yeah, yeah. then they must have done something right. But I'm telling you, as soon as he's he gets one, open. if just he gets two little, yards, he's going to get eight. Yeah, just a little space. Man. Just needs a little space. Okay, we got our guy Colt, Love this kid. Colt Jones here down at the bottom of the screen. Big, strong receiver. Keep an eye on him. If you can get some time. Ricky Weeks. Ooh. Gets rid of it over Good the play. Oh, Let's sure see what we're like going to get on tackle. that. I think it's going to be a little bit of a horse collar face mask. Okay, that's a 15-yarder, though. That's Stops a big the penalty. clock and moves the ball. Big penalty. Sometimes with a guy of Harmeal's height, you know, you find yourself just automatically on accident tackling up around the head and the helmet. In this case, he's so small, you can't get down that low. No, and that's that's but, a benefit I always. But that's use. his benefit. Yeah, that's yeah, our meals. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and when you understand that, you just play low, play lower than even your height. Don't run straight up. That's kind of a good word of advice, even for guys that aren't. You well, know, and short we talked about stature. it with on, on Chato too. You know, the big fella. It doesn't yeah. matter how wide you are either, or how thick you are. Stay low, and you're going to you're going to win that leverage game. Absolutely. Yeah. Handoff goes to 21, and he Man. is. Nailed in the backfield. Sawyer Pettit, number 23 yeah. on the tackle. Pettit's playing lights out, man. We're calling his name a lot tonight. Yeah. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. And he got a sideline interview. That's how you know. Absolutely. I mean, that's like, you know, when you come to the Colorado Youth Football Invitational, you're trying to get a ring, right? You're, right. Try, you're trying to get some fast times in the combine. You know, we got the Zybex guys here. You know your sports reels is going to be super tight because my guy Ryan at sports reels is taking care of it. But deep down, I think they're all uh -huh. coming for that. Coach GTV sideline interview. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. And you're playing with your peers. I think, the, I think they're playing for, so, like, respect, right, uh, among your peers. Oh, yeah. And, you get and to bragging know rights. Get in, get in line. You're at. Uh, uh. <laughs> you They're getting lower and get away. I know. He was like. You're like midway through a story, and then yeah. you're like, hold on, get on the line. <laughs> and I was like, I think he's talking to the guy down there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you talking to me? Up the middle there, short little gain. It's going to bring up third down, nine to go. Ball is on the 47-yard line. Big couple of plays here. They're in, they're in four down territory for sure. Yeah, we got two minutes left here in the third quarter, which brings us to 14 minutes left in the whole game. Mm. And in Still 14 minutes and one second on the clock, this whole thing's going to be over. We're going to yeah. have completed five games in one day. So Jeez. enjoy these last minutes, guys, because it's going to be over soon. Back to pass. He's got time. That's a nice route. Oh, my gosh. He liked. They're going to call a flag. I think Elijah Jones, flag. yeah, he kind of got tied up with his feet, but it slowed him down just enough. I'm not sure how much intent uh, there was, per se, but I do yeah, think there I was know. interference. I think there was interference. Let's see if we see a replay. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily don't think it was one. intentional. Here we go. Well, we, it we, doesn't, if it's not intentional, it's not pass interference. Uh, if your feet get caught up, like yeah. earlier that happened, where two it, guys' feet got caught up, that's not supposed to be a flag. If you're not intentionally speeding, are you still speeding? That's not football, brother. Oh, sorry. Good talk. You tried, though. I mean... No, you are still speeding. Yeah, that's the point. If you interfere with someone, what is the them. definition of interference? See, the definition of speeding is going above the speed limit. Right, you go over. There the is limit. no, there is no strong definition of interference. Oh, of course there is. If you ask, you know, is one this of these, interference? Whoa! I forgot we're on the scaffold. Easy there, scaffolding. Yeah. Good thing I got a nice lower base on me. Yeah. You got a good center of gravity. Easy. And I, you don't want me to get you back, cause I, you know, you'd be, oh uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can fall this way, I'll be fine, but you fall that yeah, way. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're, you're in right. Trouble. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You better hope uh, old Paul Richardson <laughs> catches you here. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. How cool is that, though? I'm with a legendary Colorado wide I know, receiver. Man. That's Paul Richardson, legendary Colorado. We need to have these at Purdue. Colorado receiver. And look at this over here. 
Michael Westbrook, yeah. legendary Colorado like receiver. Michael. So you're a legendary receiver in Colorado. But not then, a legendary Colorado receiver. Sure, but I'll there take it. I'll take whatever I can Speaking get. Speaking of which, Barney Chavis is getting inducted to the Colorado Hall of Fame in about two weeks. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Rashawn Salam, cool. Darian Hagan, right? We All just right. went down the line. Alfred Williams, Mason Very Crosby, cool. Eric Public, oh, the enemy. here comes Marcello. Let me see if he goes No better right. time than right now to get the ball in the hands of 26. And if Thought you can't it. do that, find oh, four. Oh, man. Good yeah. play on the defense. That's Warren. Jaden Warren. Good play. Even Jaramillo, though, do you see he does a swing route, and there right. are three blue dudes, like, triangling oh, him. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, they're doing that stack on him, making sure he can't get it. Right. Good read, though. Great read by the QB there to make That's sure That's what they that need to do. Um, don't force it. Believe me, we all want you to give it to Jaramillo, but Ricky Weeks made a good choice there not forcing it. Oh, my gosh. These children. Man. Joker, tough, you're perfect. Tough story. Here we go. All right, slot left, slot right. We got quads out there. One guy in the backfield. Swings out. He just, oh, come on. We got to make that. That might be six. He catch him on the run. Well, it's hard for oh. Ricky Weeks right now, and it's hard for Ricky Weeks because those two blue guys were in there on him. That's number 13, Kate Gamble. We've called his name a lot. And Bentley Unruh, number 14. Watch this yeah. here. Watch. We were all Let's watching the play, but just keep an eye on 17 here. Yeah. He, he's going to throw it, but. He's open. Boom. I mean, he. Yeah, he threw it too late. One of those dudes breathing right in you, you know, breathing right down to you. All right, put your four fingers up in the air, guys. It's the fourth, fourth quarter, quarter fourth of the fifth quarter. game. It's the fourth quarter of the fifth game. It's the 20th quarter. Got 20 points. This is my 20th quarter of the day, 20th Mark. 20th quarter. Yeah. <laughs> what is 20 quarters? That's five, right? Five years? Uh, 20 quarters is five years. Five dollars. Yeah. Oh, my God. Get over it. Stop. Stop going over there, Mark. You're scaring me so much. I saw some guy. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Where were you? We were someplace, man. A guy jumped over the balcony. I thought, maybe I was dreaming. You, you want to go on with the story, or should we? No. <laughs> you started off with, like, where was I? And then you middled with, maybe I yeah. was dreaming. Do you want to <laughs> finish? No, no. I, I, we got time. It's quarter break. No. Okay. Let's talk about football. Let's talk about football instead. There's been a lot. So, of, there's been a lot to talk about here. A lot of cool stuff happened today, right? Starting with the fourth graders at what? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. So we started off today at 8 a.m. Long day of football, man. And this is Colorado style. The best of the best from all parts of the state of Colorado. And some, you said, are some um, people represented from Wyoming? No, but as close. All in right near Wyoming. Right. Yeah. Not with, no. Past not from Fort Collins. State. But you know what, yes, Art, we're, having, we're having so much success with our Colorado Youth Football Invitational. I'd say yeah. we'll do a regional one, like a Rocky Mountain region. Oh, wow. Oh, ball's up Ooh. in the air. Nice spin on oh, that. Oh, left him out of bounds. Not exactly the uh, best high point in it there, but interesting note here, you know, there is that kind of little bit of the corners of the end zone that have the track. This is not a full 100-yard indoor. There's only one of those, and it's at uh, Dove Valley. Yeah. There's only one in the whole state. That's crazy. Hey, you and me, let's buy a some land and build one of these things. Uh, Chris is actually working on that. Yes. He called me maybe about two months ago. Come on, Douglas. Did you Come see on. that fourth and four, though? Do you go for, well, that's not the, that's not the coach's call. And I think, I, I think the quarterback may have chose that pass. But fourth and four? Yeah, I think. On their 30, on their 25, you go to the end zone? It's a three-score game. Play? You need at least three scores, right? But so no, on that last play. No, I know. So, I, yeah. So, but you want to keep the drive I'm going. I'm a little disappointed, but yeah. yeah. And or or else the other thing is if you throw that, it can't go out of bounds because if you throw the interception, you're fine. Yeah, it was exactly. Fourth down. Right. So you can't go it for it on fourth point. and make an uncatchable My attempt. Point. All right, yeah. quick screen. Oh, Unruh throws it good out there. Good defense. Great hustle by Warren. Good yep. catch. That's good Jayden defense. Warren. He closed quick. Yes. Combination of both. Well, and we saw that same exact play in the first half with Devon Daniels. And he yeah. caught that thing, made one juke, and went to the house. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if they have it in their can, but fake fake quick screen and go deep. So I've, I love that play. Oh, it's one of the best. You, you Where drop you got number the blockers, 15. They act like they're blocking, and then right. one of them shoots the seam. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. It's a great play. They got a big field to the right. They're going to send um, Diesel. Diesel Williams split out wide right solo. Chris Hunter takes the ball himself. Says, let me pick up a good six, eight yards myself. He's a tough kid. 
He's calm, he though, is. and quiet. Like, he's cool and collected. He's not too he's, crazy out he's there. He's quietly fast, too. He's quick, and he's got some good moves. Man, this whole blue team has got all Third sorts of six. talent. This, big it, play. Big play for the defense. One of the big cool things the about the duck races we did when we paired up the coaches with yeah. the teams was Let's there was, talk a, about that there after was this. an alum at the game or at the at the event oh, really? of this event, and he was wearing a mullen jacket with a letter oh, on cool. it because he's a freshman that var played varsity. Wow. So, yeah, it was cool to see, and Jeez, we're going to have a lot more of those stories. There's Unruh. Again, we talked about it in the first half. Like, Third and between six. Nice, Unruh, and, and V-Hill, they are running it up the middle. They're Jeez. just kind of doing these QB draws, and I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Frankly, I love it. That is a little crazy, man. I don't know how you stop that. Got the box, man. Then you got these three speedsters on the outside. It's kind of scary. Actually, you got a, you got three on three out here. This is not good. This is not a good situation. You got three on three with 22. Looks like a linebacker. I think we got to cover in a, a receiver. I think we got to take a moment to give a shout out to Coach Tyler Knobloch. Yes. Of the blue team here. He's from Heritage High School. Man, he's done an awesome job. He Again, we mentioned it earlier that he's the guy that, you know, he's going gonna, to when you look for his photo, there's going to be his whole team is in there because it's not about him. It's about his squad. Wow. 11th year there with the Eagles. And I tell you what. Um, it's right down the street. He's an Oklahoma guy. You know those Oklahoma guys. They play defense. They, they hit hard. But they also know how to run the ball. And here's the whole coach and staff. Big fella there on the left. He's been our most, or uh, our right side of the screen, been the most active with the beard. I love watching him coach. Oh, there he is um, right there. It in the makes black total shirt. sense to me why this team has 38 points, and it has a lot to do with the talent for sure, but also the coaching. Yeah. Dang. Uh, don't get a penalty. Uh, your boys, <laughs> we got a little battle going on here. What do we got? You and between me? Titan, no. Between Titan and Cade Gamble, they've been fighting every play. Remember the play where he tackled them? We had the holding? Yeah. Well, there's another penalty, and it's because this guy's just driving him all over the field. I think he saw that movie called, uh, what's the one, The Orr Story? Driving Miss Daisy? No, no, the one where he's... he's Forrest his, Gump. No, the the, the, the big offensive tackle. The big Blind side. Ah, shoot. I think he watched that movie. Never and he's trying to emulate it here Just kidding. On the it's field. one of my top three Sandra yeah. Bullock's favorite movies. <laughs> Watch this. Hope starting, I'm not even watching the game anymore. I'm what just watching? watching 13 versus 40. Okay. Battle. Well, I'll watch the game. Uh-oh. Unruh throws it up. Uh-oh. Oh! Ball's tipped. Almost intercepted. Almost caught. Neither of them happened. <laughs> Ball's on the turf. <laughs> oh, my God. Man. Now that, oh, my gosh, man. I think both of those guys would like to have that back. Are you serious? Oh. Uh. A nice Ouch, play there. So this, you remember, that was the opposite, right? Jaden was going deep on him, right? On Daniel and um, I, I yeah, mean, a Devon, I should say. Yeah, but remember the one he high pointed it, right? Like you're saying, Jaden right. could almost that could almost be a second pick. J well, but here's what I think Jaden needs to do. Pettit did it on Jaden, is what he happened. Needs to plant and high point. Yeah, Try, you know. If you're going to wait for the ball to come land in your arms, we got to tell him that. Good luck. I'm going to tell him that. After good the luck game. to you. Actually, if you're watching this. But he who doesn't wait usually wins. And he who hesitates is lost. Bam. You want to do one more game after this, Mark? Yeah, just one more. <laughs> there, <laughs> there it is. It There's is. a the player. There it is. We you. called it. Don't <laughs> knock me off. Take the quick ski Kawhi. and throw it deep, and he dropped the ball. Man, Kawhi. What are they going to call it, a drop? That yeah. was definitely a drop, and it had a lot to do with the hit put on by Colt Jones. <laughs> nice play. They ran my play. <laughs> They call These that. coaches are good. No, Knobloch, he told me, he goes, we got a play called Action Jackson. Yeah, I'm listening to the telecast and uh, the live stream, and I'm going to run some of the plays that Jackson's calling. <laughs> I think that's pretty wise. That's <laughs> Considering he played nine years in the NFL, and he has an incredible mind for football. I mean, but, like, we're a bit of Nostradamus. When they brought up the rosters, we started pointing out all the guys you're going to look for to score, right? Yeah, he we, did. We he started did. talking about the plays they should look for. Like, you called for a screen. You said, I haven't seen an underneath screen yet. Right. I went to the house for a touchdown. Yeah. Right? So maybe there just we maybe we do know a thing or two about this whole whole deal. This is the white squad. Not, the thing I love most about all these guys right here, not one of them have given up eight minutes and 30 seconds left, and they're down 20. They can do this. You pretty much – you pretty much – mentioned everybody's name everybody's had you know played a played a role in the game so yeah far. and then there's ck all day he's dope 
right? We know Brandon Achando we just has had a Kate. great game. Andrew Neese, the, the triple-headed Andrew quarterback they got. Jesse Marcus v. Martinez. O.J. Jones has a touchdown. Hofschneider is a healthy scratch, or I'm sorry, unhealthy scratch. Zane went. But this is guy a difference right here. maker. What about that? Did you see that? Dude, Zane I mean, literally, so, so let's, say, let's say they didn't have a kicker. So the score would have been 18 it's to 30. 30. Nope. Yeah, 32 minus 6. He nah, made, he, yeah, 32 minus 8. You're right. It would have been 18 to 26, bro. It would have been 18 to 26. Well, let's just say he missed all of his extra points. Right. Let's just say he didn't make any. I, I'm pretty sure he made four and missed one. Am I crazy there? No, it was 30. Remember, it was 32. So that's four eights, right? And now they're at 36, so that's one six. So he's made no, four. No, I, I went back to, I was just going back to the half. No, I'm just saying, but how about this? How about oh, we even take right away now? all of his two points? Let's say he didn't okay, make a yeah, single yeah, one. Okay, yeah, 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 exactly. It's 30 to 18. That's there you go. That's much more manageable. So, Absolutely. So as we've stated earlier, and as you all know, the kicking game is huge. Yeah, it has been. Did you have a favorite kicker you ever played with? Didn't have a favorite kicker. Are they all goofballs? Are they kind of pretty much? Are they no, like uh, relief Carlos, pitchers? Yeah, are they kind of no. like <laughs> no? You know, specialists. They're good friends now, right? But like specialists, they just sit around and practice the whole time and well, specialize. Well, they don't. They don't sit around. They go play golf. They go hang out, and then right. they come back to practice later on when we have team and all that stuff. Everyone else is watching film, analyzing what the opponent is doing. You don't have to analyze what the opponent is doing. You just have to kick a ball. That's fair. There's no film study. No. There's no, hey, we're putting in some new plays right. this week. I think they're going to learn a swim move. Plays. Yeah, there's none of that. <laughs> you go kick the ball. <laughs> and and it's the most one of the most important things. M more games have been won or lost by the foot than by yeah. the arm and the, and the oh legs. Ball's on the ground, speaking of it. Still on the ground. I don't know who's going to get it. Blue team's going to get it. That was a huge turn of events. Number 28 ouch. for the blue squad. Making ouch, plays. Ouch. Ricky Weeks could not reel that one in. Bennett, I don't know if he was thinking about picking that up or what. what sorry, was that was Bennett Yurkis. I want to give him his love. We've oh, on the, Ricky on the recovery? Times, yeah, but I wanted to that get was a gift. number 28. He didn't do anything spectacular to get that ball. He, he, the quarterback pushed the ball to him. <laughs> it, and again, it just blows no, he did. my he, mind how many shotgun kidding. snaps there are. He like, did jump on that ball. That's awesome. These shotgun snaps. Yeah, that's tough. Well, and here's here's what here's Yerkes. what I'm gonna say. I'm not calling out any kids. All right. Yeah. But this is an all-star event, right? So there's there's reasons why things may not go your way. But as a center, snapping the shotgun, you, you do that every day. Oh, do you at this level though? I think they all yes. I, I don't think, think so. Really? I think they do it just for this event. Really? So the coaches are calling the shotguns. I think so. But but the club coaches aren't. Uh, Craziness. Blue ball. Elijah Juan Jones has know, it in his hand. He scored their last touchdown. He's thinking about scoring their next touchdown. Dang. Inside the 20, 15. That didn't stop him there either. He's down to the 12-yard line. Great run. Wow. Moves the chains. He's carrying people. Seven and a half minutes left. Fourth quarter here. Colorado Youth Football Invitational. We're at the University of Colorado Indoor Training Facility. This is where they run their track and field events. And, of course, this is where Coach Prime comes out and watches Shadur Sanders. Who's here? Try and beat Shiloh Sanders. The guy that used to play for the Cowboys? Yeah. Dion. He's did a coach here. He ever guard you? No, he can't cover me. He did he did you guys ever cross? Nah, uh -uh. Damn, you are old. Because he's like <laughs> he got them gray hairs and No, he always played on the other side of the ball. They knew not to put him on me. Ah, useful. Ask Dion himself. Let me ask you so can cover me. So you Joe Gray tried to cover me in the did Super you Bowl. Played in games with Dion, it. but he never lined we up. Lost, but was that? Did you ever play in, in a game where Dion was on the other team? Uh, yeah, I think when we played the, it was weird because he moved around a lot. So he started with the Falcons, right? Yep. He played with the Titans, the mm, Cowboys. I'm going to say Cowboys and Niners. Niners, yeah, and Cowboys, Niners. That might be it. I don't think the Titans. I, I'm thinking of Rod Woodson. He's my teammate. Oh, yeah, Purdue. Yeah. Hey, per, don't forget Rod's stuff. You got to know Rod's stuff. Dude, I got to. Uh, <laughs> This is off. This is offshoot, but this well, is awesome. Well, that's all right. We're on I'm a gonna break. Share, I'm gonna share it with you after yeah, there's this. There's no action going on. I have on. a video. Uh, we were playing against the Steelers, this isn't and a dream, I is ran it? right past. <laughs> no, this really happened. And I also have one against Chris Dishman, another one of my teammates. Oh, bro. So you said earlier it's pretty cool playing an all-star game against some of your teammates. Yes. So yeah, I played in the pros against a couple of my teammates from college, and that was incredibly awesome. Blue team did just eclipse the 300 yard mark. Total, wow. total yards gained on that last run by Elijah Juan Jones and here's the next run. He's inside the 10 yard line. 
And those boys on the, on the front line, they are something They're still playing, special. man. They're not, they're not stopping. They're not quitting. Great Who was that? That was 8-5, but I couldn't tell. It was tackled by Aaron Knight there. Aaron Knight. That's who that was. Oh, did? Yeah. 8-5. It is 8-5. Let's see. They're getting a little far away from me, man. And I refuse to wear glasses. I won't do it. I just won't do it. That brings Elijah Juan Jones up to 25 yards rushing. He's the Ooh. leading running back on their team, but I... Quarterbacks have been doing pretty good. Bentley unruly yeah. in with 34. And then Jaramillo, only 29 yards rushing. His big play did come on the catch. Um, yeah. He received and, and took it to the house for 75 yards. But it, if I'm the coach. They pretty much in the first, like you said, in the first quarter, we didn't hear his name at all. I don't. Second quarter even, right? I don't think he came out there until later. Yeah. Um, but or maybe he wasn't in. There's uh, no way that you can only throw to Harmio once. I know. You got to throw to him Isn't six it? times and hope that he catches it. I think they tried a couple swings, uh, well, but, but you know those guys are guy. covered and they're smart. Jonathan knows what he's doing. Our stats guy. He's got him thrown to once today. Yeah. Okay. Blue team is getting closer and closer, but they are not in just yet. And that was third down. Fumble on the play. Where'd Mark go? Did you fall? No, nope, he's just No, I'm me. trying to remember the kid's name from the last game who had almost 250 all-purpose yards himself, and they didn't shut him down. Much like this kid, the, co the coach is, like you said, they've got two or three guys that are on him. They're, sh they're saying, this guy's not going to beat oh, us. Oh, you're talking about number nine from the white team? Yeah. I only know him as number nine from the white team because yeah, we Coos interviewed him three times on the sideline. What's his name? Coos oh, God. He had some, like, at symbol on the back of his jersey, so. Oh. I should know this, but. I but, know. guys, just remember, this is our 20th quarter. This is our 250th name we've announced <laughs> today. You know, we, we're trying to give you every kid's height I and know weight. that kid's going to be. I You're going to hear his name again here in Colorado. I had a dad in the fourth grade game yelling up to me like their kid's last name. I'm like, I, I love you, man. I love yeah. you so much. But please understand that I'm trying my best. Ooh, a little misdirection there that goes for six. Yeah, that was a nice one. Jesse V. Hill Jr. got himself a he touchdown pulls it. now. And uh, everything's coming up blue team. 44 points for them on the board. Coach Knobloch, you can see a little bit of relief leaving those shoulders. There's got to be tension for these guys. They want to win because this is a great play right here. We compete. Because he's been running the ball. Look at 13. He's still tackling them. That was tough. That was a great, great pull. There they Look are. Look at these Getting guys. That swag <laughs> with the drip. He's jumping on the You know what the these rushers. kids nowadays do that's pretty <laughs> cool, I think, is they um, are excited on the inside, but they don't act like it. They just like stand there and they're like, what's up? I'm super cool. <laughs> what, you know? I guess I'm, well, these aren't kids as much. These are eighth graders. You're driving me crazy, Kirsch. I'm sorry. What is? <laughs> you trying to figure out the guy's name? <laughs> yeah. I'll find it for you if you want. Yeah. <laughs> seventh grade. Bam. Mark's pulling some He's stuff going from down. the seventh grade roster here. Cassius Clearville. Yeah. Cassius Clearville. So, yeah, I just have to throw that in there. Thank you for that. If you uh, are done watching, when you get done watching this game, and you finish watching your kid, yeah. go back to the seventh grade, just rewind that thing, or go a little farther back in YouTube or wherever you're watching, and watch Cassius Clearvo. He I'll, crushed it in I'll the seventh see your grade game. Cassius, and I'll raise you a, yeah. a Riker. A ducket. Dude, Riker in the fifth grade Riker. game, he had a 70 yarder taken off the board. Otherwise, he would have had over 300 yards rushing. What's his last name? Riker? Was his name Riker? Yeah, it starts with an R. Riley or something? Riker Riley? I don't know. Believe me, guys, we're out. trying. <laughs> but that was hours ago. <laughs> Again. We're on to a new almost, roster. <laughs> what, almost 200 and some change kids out here? Oh, man. I love it, though, man. This is If we can do this every other weekend. Do you know who I... Couldn't do it every weekend. You know You'd be exhausted. People, yeah, the people love having you, man. They love oh, having man. you. I love them I hear more. about it all the time. They're like, oh, White yeah, team, man. let's see if they fold or you if they, they want to have some fun. Take it to the house. Here we go. Okay, there's, of course, going to be pressure at the middle. Takes the hit, Spins delivers. It, throws it. And it's picked. Intercepted. Great catch there. Over the shoulder that catch. Was awesome. By Diesel Williams. Yeah, Diesel Williams. I mean, with a name like Diesel Williams, how do you not get a sideline interview? What is this interview? parents thinking about? I'm going to name this kid yeah. Diesel because he's going to tear some things they up. You don't name that to, like, a poet. I want my son to be a poet. Let's call him Diesel. Or, like, you name your kid Diesel, and then you show up and drop him off in a Tesla? And you're like, we're not even into gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> Only you would come up with something like that. Yeah. No, that's that's a manly man. That's like that was Hunter, sweet. name of your kid, Hunter or, yeah, that was an excellent Fisher. catch. Fisher. Riker. 
Riker. Man, he ran like crazy. I, here we go. I want to say. Here's a throw. They kind of try and run the deep route here. Keep an eye on zero on the right side of your screen. Yeah. Good footwork. But watch the catch. He goes over the shoulder. It's Foot just the ball's thrown older. short. The, the ball's thrown short. Yeah. Well, and Again, the other thing is the pressure. I mean, give dude, the quarterback you saw credit. You he took it. the hit. Man, the pressures. I mean, he the guy had, came free. No one touched him. He had zero more seconds to throw that. No ball. one touched him. <laughs> I mean, in hindsight, I think he might want to pull that ball, let that guy run by, and then crank it up. <laughs> but again, that's hindsight, man. It's so easy to call the game from up here. I mean, minus the like shaky scaffolding <laughs> yeah. and the sore legs. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some of this. And the safety harness. And the safety Ball's harness. Ball's going deep. Sawyer Pettit's got an eye on it. And he's got two what hands on it. Sawyer Pettit's making what plays. What a catch. 444 in the fourth. And these guys are not done. They're like, we still would like to advance the football. Here we go. Zero. Action Jackson, are you live right now on Facebook? Uh, no, nobody. Gonna, I got to get some footage, though. Dude, this, nobody this goes live on Facebook good. better than you, my man. Hey, man. I, I love go that live about you. I love when you roll into places with your phone rolling and just, like, you hit like people it. with it. <laughs> yeah. That selfie stick action you run is some of the sickest <laughs> selfie stick action in the whole city. You're insane, girls. Quarterback keeper. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they're not having that. It's like, uh-uh, the Kimpe Matumbo on that one. Right. No, 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 not the miles. That's a big fella dropping that tackle down, too. I mean, Bryce Bolton. Nice guy, too. I remember him from filming days. He's a kind soul, and then you get him inside the lines and he wants to rip <laughs> your head off. Yeah. And that was my what favorite, happened to this those guy? Those are my favorite kind of guys. Forty-six, eighteen, under four minutes now here in the fourth quarter. Eighth grade game, Colorado Youth Football Invitational High Snap. Ooh, slow handoff. Hunt that one down. Great pressure there. Check that out. Yeah. Great play. You like that? Uh, you like how number five got you in like there? That? Like that? You like that? Like Kirk Cousins? I like that. That's Tabor, Tabor Shortridge. Shortridge. Kirk Cousins, new Atlanta Falcon. Is he? Took all that I money. I did not see that. He took all the money from the Vikings and <laughs> left them with just one playoff win. <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> well. But you know what? It, you know who the playoff one was against? The Broncos. Sean Payton. Sean Payton. Wow, and the Saints. Well, yeah, we owe him a couple, us Vikings there you fans. Go. We owe him All a couple right. punches in the <coughs> neck. What do you see here? Anything? Two, two receivers no. up top. Just run the clock. Take care yeah. of the rock. Good for them. That's our guy, CK All Day. Do you want to give it a try? Come on. CK All Day. CK All Day. Come on, we're, he's, we're only young no, ones. I like that. Come on, look at all Christian, these syllables. Kayla, Degro, all peachy. You nailed that. You got it. I like the way you say all peachy. All peachy. <laughs> all peachy, Manichi. Hey, I got to give a shout out to, to our director, Garrett Can Gilbertson. Yeah, he's our guy, man. Garrett Gilbertson is, an awesome is, job today. He's the best of the best. We bring him in from out of state uh, for a reason. all the chaos. He knows exactly what to do and how to do it. Early in this day, we had chaos. Yesterday, I thought he was playing video games earlier, but he's actually producing this show. And, and guess what? It wasn't just one Gilbertson. Roy came. Oh, up, yeah. Huge. His Junior. son, we brought Junior with us, and he's been running the instant replay for five straight games, and he's gotten better each game. He cut the videos of the kids' intros. He's helping us out. And you know what? Come on, We are legendary. so lucky to have the Gilbertsons with us, it's along with all of us. It's a family affair. It really is. And you know what? It's a family affair. We got you can talk over me. No. It's a family no. affair. I want you to sing over me. No, I, 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 that's in the like background. Soft. It's like a the, bed. Yeah, I want it's you a, to. It's mm. a bed, and you, like, talk over it. Family affair, the Unruhs, right, Chris and Cassie? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, we, we love everything that, that they do for this event, and they do it for the love of everything and oh, everyone. Yeah, the sport. Zarek Martinez, right? Mandy Martinez, Coach Z. Right. And, and you know what? Think about this. Coach Z and Mandy, super unfortunate event happened in the seventh grade game. ZJ yeah. on the first play of the game had to leave. That's Zarek Jr., ZJ. Zarek Jr. had to leave, went to the hospital, and now is back with a brace on. They, I think it's a fracture in the leg. Mm. So think about this. They're running a whole event while their son is at the hospital. Yeah. It's a family affair is what it is. Wait and a second. 
I'm going to make it better. You ready? Ooh. Who Devon, else? he had a chance to, like, knock that thing in the end zone. Oh, and How would the you like GTV to... family. No, wait a second. Oh, no, no, you missed one. Ooh, what did I forget? Family affair. How would you like to interview your dad on the sideline, Jasmine? That's so cool. You're Come right. Come on. Yep. Jasmine yep. Martinez, our sideline girl, got to, got to interview her dad, Zarek, yeah, which we, uh, that was awesome. Yeah, we, and we are so happy to have Jazzy and Nigel down there working the sidelines. I did it last game with Jazzy, and I tell you what, she may want to check her wristwatch for yeah. how many steps she took today. Oh, yeah. Because she's I bet got, she look, she's, she's got, gone again. I bet she got eight She's miles. got those elephant bottom pants Ten. on today. What's that all about? Ten. I got those same That's ones. That's like 70s. No, I got those same ones in a You got some of those? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never had those. Yes. Of course I do. Wow. You got apple bottom jeans. That's what you apple got, right? Apple bottom jeans. You got boots? Boots. The, the spurs. Spurs. I think it's fur. All right. You're YT. funny, though. <laughs> You're funny. I like singing songs with you. <laughs> White team's got the ball. We got two minutes and 15 seconds left. Mark go. and I are having a great Ooh. time. Blue team's having a great time. Knocked White team's the, having a hard time. Slot time. Right now they are. Yep. 46-18 is a hard time. They had 18. I've been there before. 55-10, actually, in yeah. front of a crowd of about mm, 100 million people, maybe. I don't know. That How many people like, view the Super Bowl? Is it billions? Like not so super. Are we in the billions now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably in the billions now. No. Billions huge. Remember Gil Whiteley will tell you. Like, a billion is 100 trillion million. Wow. Well, now you know I that? think you're just making up words. Okay, I did. You're not but most math. people didn't know hey. what that was. When they heard that the first time, they're probably like, mm, wow, I didn't know that. And then you just exposed me for, like, you're, fabricating. You're not a math athlete. What a trillion is. Okay, you're a great athlete. It's a lot. I know that. But it's I'm much not, more than a million. I'm not certain you're my, you're my mathletic, my most mathletic friend. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a thousand. It's a. It's like a hundred thousand million. Oh, uh, well, that's, yeah, what that's What were we a debating billion. here? I can't even remember. No, I think, it, is it a million? No, it's 100,000 millions. Yeah, you're right. That's what a billion is. Yeah. Yeah. And then a trillion, I think, is a million millions. Something like that. But, again, we're, we're not here to do math. That's why yeah. we got the stats guy. There's that little swing pass I was looking for. Woo-hoo! Look at that boy go, man. Put that foot. Bam! He left, he left my man in the smoke. I'm going to have to call him out. Evan Ingles. Evan Ingles, 44. But you know some I can't complain about Evans. You know, in the open field, how do you tackle a guy that's quick like that, you know? It's easier said than done, that's it's for sure. It's not easy at all. Hey, Siri, how many people watch the Super Bowl worldwide? Around 100 million. Whoa. So not a billion. Not a billion. I said about 100 million earlier, so I was No, you nailed good. it. You, we yeah. asked, the question was, is it gotten into the big Bigger. Yet? Yeah, yeah, and it hasn't. Um, I'm pretty certain smaller, the says. games from today uh -oh. are going to get deep. a million views. Oh, we got a P.I. Boop. For sure a P.I. Yeah. There. That's O.J. Jones. You throw that flag on that one. Get some laundry on the field for that one. 2-6 on the defense. Olajuwon Jones doing his best. One-on-one. -on -one. But got his hand caught up in those shoulder pads. Okay, That's Mark. not good. Under 90 seconds left. Anything you didn't Tavish get to Burke. say today that you wanted to? Oh, man. There's just so much to say. It's you like know? a Dave Matthews song. Is that a song? Should we turn around and I, I want to show them the front of our heads, or should we show them the back of our heads? Oh, my gosh. Are we live? Well, we're just showing off some of our cool moves. We got the bird Where'd dog. that camera come from? Look at I clipped it up there. Isn't that cool? Hello. Hi, Mom. I love you. Wow. Hi, George and Alice. You're the best. Thanks, Amy. Thanks for letting us do this. Are we live? Are we oh, still yeah. on? Yeah, we're live. We're live streaming on YouTube. Back of my head. As we speak. All right. Well, no, it's been an awesome day, who man. Who haven't we thanked? The coaches, we got to thank them. You thank in Kyle Berry, too. We got to thank Kyle Berry, too. He Nailed is it. our PA announcer today, and he has done an awesome job of keeping the crowd in touch, shouting out the DJ. What's my DJ's name? That's a DJ. Creator. Devin. DJ Devin, the dude. We got everybody covered, I think. Big fan of the sports reels, guys, too. Anyone who uh, wants to get a nice, you know, cut up bit of footage from today's events, yeah. contact the sports reels, guys. They'll, you know, you tell them what number your son is, and they'll put together. Oh, wow. Well, I like film, maybe? Oh, yeah. And wow. guess, who, guess whose footage they're going to use? They've got the exclusive rights to the Coach GTV footage. Wow. Yep. Big shout out to Game Day Kicking. 
Game day kicking. Robert came out here. We interviewed him. He's from Scotland. He's from Maybe. Scotland. Have you ever been to Scotland? I spoke with him a bit. He's a great man. And he's got uh, a great man. huge calves on him, and that probably explains why he can, he can kick get the ball. paid to kick the ball he's through very cruel, right. too. Let's see who else we cool got. Cool the way these kids are out here kicking the ball. Big shout out to the uniform company. Man, these uniforms are so sick. And it was cool to see the parents doing it, too. So parents are rocking the jerseys of their kids. Uh oh, we're going deep. Big deep ball. And he who has is him. it? It's had a meal. Oh, oh he had a beat on it. Such a tough catch. Shoot. Man, Ricky Weeks, I, he's a nice player. He's, he's shown me everything I need to see to believe in him. A couple balls just kind of sailed on him. A yeah. couple balls just went a little errant. This one, he's got him. It's kind of a little ducky. He's got him. Start fading out. Let's see. Minute 15 see seconds throws, left. Let's see if he steps into this. Most of them he hasn't had a chance yet. Well, he still had a little something in his face that might have affected his throw. He kind of ran. Well, it's it's hard to run when you're looking up, right? It's 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 easier to run kind of. Well, he's a running out. back. He's not a receiver, so. Yeah, receiver. You just fade to that. He turned around. Look at this kid. There's Hadamio. He's tough. Good tackle by Kawhi. He just these guys pops up and runs back. Look at how fast he runs back oh to the huddle. Gosh. It's the fourth quarter. It's a minute to go in the game. The good news I is. Still, as you said, I still think he may have been. And here's the problem. The coaches don't know these players. You know them better because oh. you saw them last year. Yeah. I know them better. Next year we'll know them even better. But we may. We have some coaches that are coming back. Some, some coaches that may have coached a different grade level, so they don't know these players like we do. I'm starting to think that all the coaches that won today took our footage from last year, studied it, cut it up on the coaches mm. they were going against. And they actually studied it. And a they used that Coach GTV yeah. footage as a little bit of film study. Yeah, that's possible. Is that possible. crazy? Well, he's going the wrong way. Am I giving myself yeah. <laughs> too much credit? I think he might be. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I did some study, and I went and Googled some of the coaches, and... Uh, looked at some of the players, talked to some parents on the sideline. I like doing that, though. That's been real fun. You are, you are a man of the people, Mark, and the people love you, and you love the people. There's plenty of people that love guys and love athletes, and they don't give them the love back. But I tell you, Mark Jackson, he is really a special guy, um, and, and he's been a Denver icon and a staple here since way back in the day. And, man, we're so blessed to have you and so thankful and so lucky, really. Honestly, thanks so much. Well, I've known these guys before the Colorado Youth Football Invitational, so... Cassie, Chris, Zarek, Mandy, love you guys. Love giving back to the community and love, love the sport of football and children that are participating in this incredible sport. Balls Go. on the ground. That kind of sums up the game for the white team yeah. there. Last play of the game, Ricky Weeks couldn't quite handle it. That should tick the clock down. Well, we got one timeout left here. Did he call the timeout? He did. did. I like guys that. Here looking to I get was the hoping that the other in, coach. Oh, no, it's a switch. It's a they're changing. Uh, that was fourth down. No, oh, that'll be. That yeah. was fourth. Or yeah, that was fourth. Well, Mark, anything else you want to get in here? We got seven seconds left in this game, and then we're going to send it out. Uh, thank you, Coach G, for being uh, the man that you are to put all this together. Again, you can have a football invitational, but when you have a streaming invitational with replays and close-ups, sideline chats, and pre-game interviews, and coaches' challenges, and <laughs> this is serious We dreamed stuff, it up, man. Mark. I you mean, and me. You, you were there. This was awesome. You told me this about it. This is awesome. Well, I didn't think it would come to this type of fruition. I mean, well, this I is like next-level stuff, boy. I dream this big, and I, but stuff. I learned it from hanging out with guys like you. And then I asked my guy, Garrett Gilbertson, we went to college together. I said, Garrett, yeah. you think we can do this? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, then let's do it. <laughs> he says, you get, you was the Jameis Winston coach uh, quote? You gotta eat the W or something? No, you oh. you good? He said I'm good. He said you good if I'm good. And then, oh, and then, then we, we good. We strong then. We strong, strong. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's you're funny. strong. I'm strong if you strong. And then he said that crab is real strong then. <laughs> we strong. Look at man. that. It's Eric uh, Mark, I guess the game's over and we're supposed to end this. But no. I'm having too much fun with you. Are we you. supposed to face this other camera? Let's face this camera. Final score, 46 for the white team. Stop it. Coach Knobloch pulls off a huge W. Do we have the audio? And the That's 18 good. for the Am blue I team. They shaking things too much? You're oh. shaking things a little too much. <laughs> Your booty is shaking just a little People too much. People are getting nervous on the scaffold Hats off here. to the blue team. Hats off to the white team. Hats off to all the all-stars. Thank you so much for, for watching our show today. 
from Mark Jackson, Denver's favorite amigo. I'm Coach G from the 303, and we love you guys, and we thank you so much for watching our production of this year's Colorado Youth Football Invitational. We'll see you next year. here with Coach of Blue. How are you feeling after that win? You know, that was a lot of fun. I mean, the uh, future of football in this state's uh, definitely very bright. Uh, a lot of young talent on both sides of the field, man. This is a really cool event to be a part of. You know, it was great. Our kids worked hard, put in some extra time, really uh, took the focus and preparation seriously so that we could get this together in three days to come out, be dynamic and explosive on offense, and then our defense, man. Just flying to the football and making plays. And uh, got to give a shout out to my offense and defensive line. We were a little thin, didn't have a whole lot of people. But just over and over and over again, they, they, they just decided to be physical and dominant. What would you say is your favorite part of this weekend? Ooh. Just getting to know the kids. Like I said, a bunch of great young men on our football squad. I'm sure the same thing for the other side. Um, you know, and, and just having fun, uh, working a little bit, I mean, I do love scoring points, so the fact that we were able to put a few of those on the board, that's fun for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, but super proud of my guys, and also my favorite part is we had so many guys that made major contributions tonight. It wasn't just a one-man show, it was uh, every every guy in blue doing everything they could, so that was really cool. Awesome, thank you so Absolutely. much, Coach. Absolutely, thank you. Back to you. And that wraps up another great all-star football game here at the Colorado Youth Football Invitational. And boy, it sure did not disappoint. Boulder, Colorado has seen some action today. <laughs> I love football, ups, downs, all the, all the camaraderie. I love the high fives. The kids are absolutely enjoying this thing. And you can tell the families are loving it. Um, the coaches are having the time of their lives. You know what? It's a celebration of football here in Boulder, Colorado. And, and we couldn't have done it without uh, Chris and Cassie putting this together. You know, Zarek and Mandy, all the volunteers, all the crew, um, and guys like you. Mark Jackson. Well, thank you for having me. It's been an awesome, awesome afternoon. Well, we thank you for watching the 2024 Colorado Youth Football Invitational on Coach GTV, and we'll see you next year.